We a day late. But I was at Envy's house, so I deserved a little break. Even though we streamed, which is really fun. Let me tweet this out. Do this nice little watch together. Gonna be a good time, as usual. Tweet is out. Hello, Grape Juice. What up, Volt? Yo. Move Crip from the game, yo, facts. How's everybody doing today? Hey. I love SPL Sundays. Just draft league in general. It's nice. I want to start expanding and watching other draft leagues, but I don't... Like, on video. I, I watched, like, the games on my own time, but, you know. Where's my vertical stream? I'll probably do that again sometime. Um, I'm gonna t I want to test a playthrough with it, with, like, somebody. So I might be doing something with Chase. Nice. I am. Hey. Much love, Jan. Let me, uh, let me make this real quick. Money flavor. Put that right there. So we actually sold out of the bundles, which is pretty cool. Appreciate ya. Been less than a week. We do have a little bit left of the flavor if y'all want to check it out. Anything on a new ROM hack y'all planning on playing? Uh, I, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Honestly. But we're definitely going to play something. And I want to try vertical streams for that. I hope we really announce more of the National Dexter next turn direct. But I, I mean, I still think we're getting a different game this year. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. Got a lot of good games this week, though. A lot of important games, too. We talked about it a little bit, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying the season. I really am. I've been loving all the coaches' creativity. Any of the mons you give stamina to? Yo, give it to Teraladon, man. You can't just give him Eevee or Light. Give him, give him stamina, too. Hey, thank you, River Man. Appreciate you. I'm hoping, by the way, to have another bundle come out soon. Maybe not with that shaker, but maybe with the Draco shaker. Because I know we do still have some Poke Aim cards we can give out. But we'll see what happens. Damn, Volta, that sucks. How was Emmy's place? It was fun. Hopefully they know, TK. Give regular sand slash a buff. It did get spikes, which is pretty nice. I don't know if I give stamina to that. I want Duraladon to have it. Could Dire Claw? Dire Claw would be interesting for a little Sand Slash. Or for regular Sand Slash. I would not mind that. It's not like it's that much of a buff, but it's just pretty cool. Did a fun Suicune video with Rabia, by the way. That mod in NU is crazy. <laughs> Thank you, fam. I got mad about my crits because I wanted to use more of my Dugong. Nice, Zav. That's awesome. All right, you, you're going too far. Cease the edge. Hey, calm down. Anyway, let's watch these games. They're all very important for playoffs and whatnot. I'm very excited. We're going to start off with my boy Envy. Oh, Envy. Nexus, excuse me. Um, sorry, I was just at Envy's house, obviously. If you haven't checked out the cooking stream, you should check it out. That was very fun. Had some... Uh, I appreciate all the, the regulars that were there. Hey, happy birthday, fam. What's my record again? Uh, after this week... Or before this week. I'm 4-2 going into this week. I'm 5-2 after this week. One game left. Actually, if I win... My last game is versus Uzi. If I win that game, I actually get second seed. I saw a lot of doubters when they first saw my draft that I wouldn't even make it to playoffs. And, and now I'm contending for second seed. Just saying. 
Playoffs are. I, I'm also guaranteed playoffs. The the worst I can get, even if I lose, is like sixth place. The math has already been done, so I'm guaranteed playoffs after my game versus Hayden. It was unfortunate that I. Uh... <laughs> oh, I'm glad you liked the Fuma. You should check check out the sweet coon. Hey, Billy would have been better if our believer wasn't Gary. <laughs> Who would have known? I definitely didn't. Where was the cooking stream? It was at Envy's house. It's a uh... Yo, it's right here. Live. It's right here. Come to the league. Top player in every league. Join. Hey, I try. But yeah, it's right here. If you want to check it out. Three hours. We didn't cook for three hours. We were just talking and stuff. Found amazing that four ice move. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's amazing. The sheer cold uh, freeze guy, homie. That's fire. Oh, I always, I always use every single Pokemon I draft, no matter what. So, yeah. What up, what up, what up? All right, let's get into this game. It's all right. Got some win versus Chase. I know it's not how you want to win, but you got to cook a bit. Thank you, Armenia. You mean Hayden, but I appreciate it. And yeah, I did not want to crit. I wanted to do more work with my team that I practice. <laughs> Dynamo. Let's get it. Come Welcome back. I don't know. Yeah, good luck in FPL. I'll be watching all the replays, as I always do. I'm trying to say welcome, welcome back, guys, uh, to another game of the SPL. Uh, really looking forward to this one, man. I'm going up against Drew. I've, I've been glazing Drew's team like forever. You guys have to understand. I glazed the hell out of Drew's team. I'm searching up the match. Except guys, Pyro that one season. I think I actually did bring Pyro. It just died. Unless I maybe. Are you able to use all draft folks? I'm not. You can use whatever you want. Some people haven't even used all their Pokemon. Everybody was very positive about our, our win last week. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Khaled is here. I did not call him Khaled. I could do that, maybe King. What up, Brian? Playmaker. Appreciate you, buddy. Thank you for the two. I could probably do that. What do you think should get a Mega? Give me my flag on Mega, of course. But Khalid. Khalid is here, bro. I swear to God, Khalid. There's a Skun Tank and a Probo Bass. Okay. All right, let's look a little bit at this matchup. Hmm. Black Glasses, Miascarada. I mean, it's all right. Not the greatest. This Probo Bass is actually high-key annoying, too. If it Terra Ghosts. Nice grape juice. Vertical replays. Go to see how much respect you and Hayden have for each other. No, Hayden's like one of the goats. Hey, Catherine is like literally one of the goats, man. He's been doing it forever. I'm very happy that he's trying to do this full time now too. It makes me, makes me really happy. Um, Specs Kiram looks phenomenal in this game. Very good bring by Nexus here. Rocky Helmet Defensive Blastoise. You need it for this mon. Scarf and Amherst is a good cleaner. I think the scariest mon is Loki, the Pro Pass, and obviously Quackleville is really good too. Like Quackleville is incredible into this. Like Blasters can only Rocky Helmet it for so long. So you and my brothers are running out. Nice, buddy. Much love. Hey, okay, so Joe. One of the things I don't see, I don't see a Thunderous. That's huge. No Thunderous isn't as good as I'm big. Content. Uh, no Santa Conda. Sadly, no Mabostif. No Mabostif is very sad. Um, he is gonna actually be able to get a, get, of, get rid of rocks, which is really, really unfortunate. So hopefully I can just iron flinch him to death, because uh, that's gonna be really annoying. Um, my end game here is to try and win with either. Nemesis, I wouldn't mind, Brian. Uh, and then kind of wall break with Kiram. Um, I think I think realistically the Kalos Megas are gonna get, or the Kalos starters are gonna get Megas. I think uh, just because Battle Bond Grant is kind of just a, uh, an ability now, not really a form. So I do feel like they're they're gonna give us uh, Megas for those Pokemon. I'm kind of excited about it. They kind of should have had it. They came on Gen 6. They 100% should have had it. Uh, but, yeah, he brought Probopat. Uh, yeah, he will in the future. Probably not like, anytime soon. Uh, fighting, steel. Or, it's not fighting. Sorry, it's Ghost. He doesn't yeah. run fighting. It's Ghost. Ghost is... locked in. I'm locking in, guys. Leave a like, subscribe. Game plan here is to get up rocks. Hey, it might So, I guess that's, like, fine to not get uh, status inflicted and stuff. All right, let me turn up this uh, reminder, because you guys going to be hearing this reminder, like, all day, dude. But, yeah, man, leave a like, subscribe. I am very excited. Be crazy, very, very about this game. Drew has my favorite team in the entirety of the SPL. I am not kidding. I glaze his team all the time, bro. I really do. Um, I just... He has a boss diff. He's inspired me. I, I want... Yeah, M Nexus has really stepped up. I feel like he's better in form now. Um, and it makes me really happy because it, it, you know, it's great for the future of him. Not only just his confidence, but just for the future of draft. Great games. I want to get my boss diff. I want to get... He will in the future life. So we'll see who he wants to lead off with. A bow, Uh Let's see who he wants to lead off with. Guys, again, good luck. Drew, we gotta get an icon, my boy. Guys, get, leave a like, subscribe. Obviously, check out Drew. He's one of my boys for many, many years. He leads off with Coach. Okay. Shady's another one. I'm happy for him, too. He's gonna magnet pull me. Am I cooked? 
Oh my god. Am I cooked? Oh my god, is it actually? Am I cooked? Is it Magnet Pool legit? Probo pass, uh, skun tank, Bro got stopped by the stash. Boulder, Infernape. Quack wave. Quack. Is he actually cooked? And then wheezing. Hey, green. Okay. Am I cooked? Guys, am I cooked? He's gonna lock me in. I might be cooked. We'll see how this goes. Alright, we'll see how this goes. Um, he could be like a weird. He's gonna tear yeah, up Yeah, Smart. I outspeed. He's gonna probably iron. He's ghost. Oh, Ooh. I'm not worried about this at all. Really? As much as, does anything get rock polish? I think ghost is actually very I scary. Speed, my Kira, I'm kind of fine. It he wasn't pull. for iron defense body press type shit. No, he put the rocks. Oh. Damn, if this was magnet pull, iron defense body press, it actually was pretty good. For Kyle Hayden. Yeah, I mean, Kyle had a lot going on. I'll go right down. Oh, he puts up rocks. More than Luggy. He's like, oh, I'm like, not even, that's like, who would I even go out into? My blast was probably, but let's see. Oh no, he's not! He's not Magnipol! He's not Magnipol, damn. I was gonna play like he was! Whoa! That's crazy! He he's, he's, not. he's gonna stay well, in. Guys, always he, this is why you check! What is he? Sturdy? I'm just gonna yawn him. Does that Volt Switch? Volt Switch would be fire. Be bad. Body press. Nice. A little good chip, though. That's good for Drew for. <sighs> this is really good for Quackable. Like, that might look like a better turn for Nexus, but that actually is extremely good for Quackable. I'm looking pretty good. I got a decent chip on coach. Bro, he says this guy looks like him. Because they both have big schnauzer dowsers. Drew, let's wake up, brother. Yeah, first game. Come on. Wait, that... like you, bro. this one can't even touch him. Try to force a switch here. Uh, probably not. I don't want to take too much damage. I kind of need this thing. I got to wake up real early. Yeah, weird. Who would he even go out into? He has to go to the mm, weird. Thing. He stays in with this thing or goes <laughs> to the weezing. Rig, 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 rig. Bordy, I really love that. <laughs> He's going to switch. Okay, I did force a switch. So whatever's coming in is going to be on. Robert. Skunting. Quackable. Interesting. Bro, look at this guy. <laughs> hey, hey, my guy. I freaking love Quackle. Can I wrap it and then flip? Or hey, Pyro. Right now to keep the pressure on. Uh, if I wrap a spin right now and he goes back out into the pro pass, I wouldn't like that. I'm gonna flip. Smart. Oh, Drew he might did. be. Okay, Drew might actually be scarf on this mon then. So I think it's. I, I think it's a pretty good pick into him too. Oh, I didn't see if he was boots or not. I, I don't think he was. I don't think he was. I don't think. He, I don't think he was. I didn't, I didn't see if he was. Much love, our man. I appreciate it. I feel like he has to go back to pro pass here or go to like Infernape or something. I don't know. No, not Infernape. Weezing. I feel like it's wheezing or back out into the promo. This is fit Maybe without being to try and get rid of it. He didn't spin with this guy. But he definitely doesn't want that guy to be asleep. Hemis. Okay, I might. Is really good for me. I'll, I'll freaking love the answer. Helmet? What is this guy? No. I think it's boots. What up, X? Rig, 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 and Morty. All right. I think I can go out the cure here. Yeah. Specs cure him should get a kill. Unless it's Scarf. <sighs> unless AV doesn't yeah, like get the kill. Um, I kind of don't want to cure him here. And I can kind of just click freeze. I freaking love Scarf Quackable. It, it was what won me the finals. Ooh! I didn't even know uh, Kiram got Psychic. What about this thing? What about, what about... I actually did not know Kiram learned no, Psychic. Every day. This set's wild. Yeah, Ice Beam, just nukes. Now flip turn damage from there. Ice Beam should just nukes. That Ice rocks damage. Here, Yo, Quackable um, looks so good so, with this uh, rocks damage. It might be new. I didn't even know. Uh, the, uh, what up, fam? I mean, jolly max attack. It's doing like what, thirty to thirty-five. This is this is really this is really good damage. I kind of want to keep the pressure on and keep these rocks up. It's kind of why I'm playing like this, guys, because I could double out here into Rachi on the Weezing, but I I don't want him to defunk. I want these hazards to stay. Is that dead? Yeah, Damn, AV is hell. Yeah. Ooh, that's so big too. Yeah, Ow, I just lost so much power. I'm it's just aim. Range. Aim is my smoke on him. 142, the most it does. And if he's adamant AV, um, it still doesn't kill. If he's adamant max attack with black glasses, it does 136 max. This guy, Kerem is tanky. So it doesn't kill. I think it's ah! Jeez, bro. What That's... am I doing? Wait, what am I doing? You could have just... Oh, he should have ice beamed. Click ice beam, dude. Oh, my God. I'm in sucker now. I just threw this game. Damn! That's so big. This one was so good into him. Bro, and his water is like Quackable looks insane now. What the hell? Damn. Wait, 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 what am I doing? What? Guys, what am I doing? I just relaxed. It really is learners in Gen 5. Wow. I never used psychic on that one. I should just count there something. Freezer is kind of weak. He's actually, I really acknowledge he was AV and I acknowledge that my spec is gone. Jesus. This gun thing just got incredible value, but he's AV, so he can't defund. One day, star. Uh, what am I doing, bro? Lock in. Is and he gets aftermath yeah. too. Like he loses. Like this guy's gun impact is insane. Bro, bro, Quackable looks insane. If it's actually Scarf Quackable, 
Blastoise only needs a little bit more chip. Like, that monk comes in and puts damage. God, man. I'm surprised he didn't sucker. A lot of things outspeed Kyurem, so it's not the world's worst thing to lose, but it's still like, holy shit, what am I doing? Um, can I go out into... Jirachi? He also kind of struggles into Pro Pass, so... Jirachi, please, team, but Boulder. Uh, it's not Gale Wings, it's Flame Body. We saw when he hovered over it. I thought the same thing first, too. Maybe I can go out to Meowth's and bait something out. Because I got Meowth's who we got into, probably like Weezing. Weezing, which you don't no, switch in very Jirachi. well, too. What the hell, bro? Lock in, man. What, the Kyurem just died for no reason. Yeah, that was that was rough, fam. <clears throat> he didn't really have very many skunk tanks, which is to okay, be fair. I mean, again, it's not the world's worst loss. Kyurem was just there to make an opening. It's not the world's worst loss. Yeah, I agree, TK. If he goes Infernape, I'm hitting Zen. If he goes Infernape, I hit Zen every time. If he goes Infernape, he's going to Berry. And at the rocks, we should just nuke. Mm. Skunk tank is gone, so it's massive. But that's another mod, like, you weaken for, uh... Rocks and body press. I wonder what, um, Calves. Who's this? Okay. That's the rocks. Nah, I'd knock um, off in the sucker. Maybe U turns? Yum! I just have to not. I just have to not. I just have to not. Oh! Life is not good, man! What are we doing, dude? Oh! That's so. Yo, it's looking like a quackable sweep. I'm gonna be honest. It, it, it guaranteed dies, it, dude. I don't know. If it is Scarf... I can't go into my Blastoise on this. I literally cannot go into my Blastoise on That's this, rough. Like, yeah, if Stoise <sighs> takes too much, you can't go anywhere. You gotta go... Maybe yeah. Flame right now if he sees. Don't go to that way. I can't tell. That's extremely frustrating. That's a huge miss. Yeah, Quack looks He's stupid good. Be best case scenario, but we'll find out right now. You took damage, so... Specs? Oh! What the hell? This matters because I do recoil damage to myself. Oh, now if you Brave Bird, you die. Oh my god. That's like extremely frustrating, dude. I, I can't roost if he's not. Um, if he's Scarf, it's just... I will say, though, that the damage on Jirachi makes... If Iron Boulder Speed Booster... Actually, yeah, if Iron Boulder Speed Booster, it just looked insane anyway for Drew. But that's still rough, obviously, because look how much... Look what just happened. Just die, just die. Yeah. That is Scarf 2. Holy crap. Ape looks stupid good here. Bro, I don't know. this game is not going well at all. Evan, just stay in with Ape till you miss. <sighs> just keep staying in with Ape till you miss. That's it. Blasters comes up. Yeah, like yo, it's looking like fucking rap. Like it just outspeeds my team. Even just let Jirachi go there. Your best move is to switch Blastoise out while attacking, or Aqua Jet and not kill and put it like not even putting it in place. Hey man, but that was my game, TK. So it does outweigh the season. That is the worst thing to happen, dude. I'm not trying to complain the entire video, but I cannot stress how badly all that matters. I think I just have the Aqua Jet twice or something. Uh, it's not named uh, Kaizo Ironmon. Uh, uh, Discord just does that. It puts like a previous stream or whatever. There's a on my hoodie. Let's see. I'm Scarf. I don't want the thing to come in multiple times. I think I can afford to spin here. He's gonna switch out. You got me. Damn! Owen has been making fantastic SBO content. Agreed. Yeah, I'm left with physical attackers. This is pretty bad. Have the on it. He starts setting up iron defenses. Scarf and was a great ping. I literally prepped for it. And I lose by not by missing Zen Headbutt, dude. I'm glad you like so it, Jay Davis. Damage from the miss, and my talent flame dies because of the miss. I hate. Just have to lock in. That's all I have to do. I hate Zen Headbutt so much. Not even just for this, just in general. Yeah, that move is so scary. garbage. Can't have this guy take too much damage. Yeah, look at that. Fire Blast looks insane. Power Gem. Like, Fire Blast just looks crazy. It just wins. I'm just going to flip turn out into Jirachi. Did he not put I think, I, I, think I, just, I have to aqua jet the uh I got a crit. <laughs> I'd have to I'd have to aqua jet out into um What up Morty? I don't want to come out cat on a body press if you get body press here, so I have to um... But Psycho goes I have Jay Davis. He was invited to this and he wanted to do it and he almost said yes. Things asleep. But he just uh was doing new things <sighs> with uh lore or whatever you know, game he was playing. Comes out, Even though yeah. that game ended. Yeah guys, that's crazy. Ten percent by the way. 
I agree, Volter. I think Quackable still looks insane after it connects. And Mighty Cleave Boy looks crazy too. But hey, no worries. Cooking, do your thing, fam. You miss any matches? We just started, fam. We just started today, Sophia. Like, just right now. Pain split. I really would have liked Volt. Yeah, 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 yeah. Runeterra. He was telling me he was getting back to Runeterra. But then obviously got shut down. So I'll, I'll hit him up again in the future. Um, when Shofu joined SPL? I don't know about that, but my boy B, let me let me read this DM from Shofu. My bad to cut off the game. Let me read this DM from Shofu I got. I was I was chilling at Envy's house. I got this DM from Shofu, and it says a draft league where you have to draft your items and moves. And I told him straight up, yo, what we trying to do here, bro? Like, what's going on here? These cool ideas. But yeah, this, he's been hitting me up with a bunch of different stuff. So maybe he has the itch for months. We'll see. How do you choose the players for SPL? Uh, I hit up a bunch of people that were around when Draft League started and kind of helped, you know, build the foundation. Much love, Christiana. Appreciate you, fam. You too, buddy. <laughs> I thought that was really interesting. Um, I told him, I actually responded, like, seriously. I said, uh, it'd probably have to be a pool of, like, 20 to 30 items, and then one player can only use their 15, the other, or 10, and the other player can only use their 10. I thought it'd be pretty cool. Once again, to draft, and that would be fire. I mean, I talked to him. First time seeing this live of the content. I'll have to pick up some of the moon milk. I appreciate you, Logan. Yeah, we actually, uh, we don't have too much stuff available, but actually, all we have is the moon milk available now. We ran out of the other stuff. But yeah, there's a, I'll, I'll, I'll talk with him and call at some point. See if I can get, because he'd be, he'd be hitting me with random ideas. And we actually, uh, thank you everybody for all the support. We sold out the bundle. And the ice shaker. I think there might be some going to the UK though. Uh, but we still do have a little bit. We have a couple jars. We have a good handful of jars. I would say about 20% of the inventory left of the moon milk. So if you want to pick that up, you can. Exclamation mark flavor. But this is uh, caffeinated though, 18 plus from uh, green tea. It tastes like terrible tea. Turn the moon milk into ice cream. Hey, let me know how it tastes, Gray. It honestly tastes better with milk than it does with uh, water all the time. Thank you, TK. What chance the moon milk comes back in the future? I mean, they can probably do it whenever, I would say. Um, I know Meteor Burst is coming back in probably a month. Is this a powdered milk flavor? Uh, it's powdered um, taro bubble tea. But yeah, it's it's not vegan though, so it does have like a, a like, not, like a milk substitute base. Trying to find a high not lose to the duck. It was fun. At the sack, Rachi the duck. Cuss that first pick for sure. I mean, I cussed that choice Ben and Life Orb were the ones I would pick. Come up to an amateur hundred. That right, kills it. But yeah, I think like that really sucks that he that missed there. But like the Kira misplay earlier, like look how good Quackable was looking. Like just with that damage on Jirachi, it looked insane. And the damage on Blastoise prior to that, it was like a 194. Quackable looks insane. I'm sorry, Green. I'll, I'll Much love, Volt. Yeah, I'll be back. Probably either the end of this month or early next month. Oh, it's rough, guys. It's it, yeah, you're right, Chef. That's just that is just actually incredible. I think from this point, I need like what. I mean, I'll run around. We'll find out. Definitely some heavy duty boots too. Hey, if I flinch this, will he wake up flinched? He's asleep. How can he be flinched? Low key asleep? drafting heavy duty boots would be broken. I'm not changing up and hitting Zen. What up, John? I'm, really I'm not. If I comes out into it, I could give a shit less. Okay, just stay asleep one turn. I'm gonna try my best, but my flinch? favorite to win this nice. season would be Shady Penguin. All right. <sighs> I just hope he stays. Let's go. Yes. All right, Pro Pass is gone. Good, Marcus. How do I beat Boulder? That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what I'm saying, too. Like, let's say he's still connected. Like, Boulder goes stupid, right? And if Boulder has to get sucker punched, by, if it's if it's speed booster. So, like, I don't know. It was just crazy. I just hope he... Dude, he, all he has to do is come out the duck here. Nah, right, it like, doesn't... Is way too much worn down. I think I can dude, oh, and I really hope he does. He has a good team. I'm, up, I'm uphill. I have, like, a massive risk. He's, um... Oh, he's going to go to Boulder. Booster? Wow. It's not booster. What up, Bruno? Is it scarf? Huh? Hang on. Um. Okay. If he's gonna go out into this, maybe it's banded. It's probably banded. It's gonna attack. Does it, it, I want to set up SD or do anything? It might be banded yeah, or it's boots. Ah, no duplicate yeah, items. It's kind interesting. of. I think it's too limiting. That's incredibly interesting. Like I'd rather limit them in a different way than. He's gonna cleave. Ooh, sub left these. I agree, Volt. Oh, so he's not booster. 
I legit agree. Also, it being sub leftovers is incredibly dangerous here, isn't it? Because like this does not kill. Boulder's so bulky. Like I could see Boulder if it's mighty cleave close combat. I could literally see it winning the game from this position right now. These lefties. I think I have to go Blastoise. Maybe red. I play more Rambacks. Well, we need Blastoise over the duck, you know. No, 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 no. I have an Ambers. I have an Ambers. I have an Ambers. What the fuck? That bo yo, that Boulder set literally won the second this month took damage. What the hell? That's a goat set into this. Predicting no uh, webs or anything like that too. The scarf give you more speed than booster. I thought it was the same. It's the same. It's 1.5, 1.5 speed. How's Chase? He's been going. He's been going great. They got a three-game win streak before this week, I think. How much do I need? Psychic does how much? 16 to 19. What up, Uzi? Moonblast over Luring Voice. Yeah. Plan? Yes. That is black glasses. Suckers and hurt. Nothing in Emerus does kills the thing. And I can't go cast B. I don't want to knock off. I don't want to put myself in that situation. Because TK. It's not the same. I wish I came in clutch here. Shady's returned to draft and he's basically almost in playoffs. That's awesome. It'd be better if I actually hit flipping the Menace. I don't think he's in. I don't think Evil Evil Envy's existed this. <laughs> I don't think Evil Envy has been around this season. I'll be completely honest. Obviously, I love Uzi's uh, storyline and everything he's been doing too. I fight Uzi this week. I kind of like mind games. I kind of just subs. Think I'm gonna. Rapid spin or something stupid. I just don't know where his head's at. He's taking time. I don't think he stays in. He could just go weezing. Bro, he could also go just quackable and just win, right? He could just go weezing. <sighs> Come on, Drew, you want to stay in? Come on, Drew, you want to stay in? Come on, Drew, you want to stay in? Smart man. Oh, my dick massive. It... He said if I flipped her, my dick oh, would have been massive. <laughs> this was a great switch, by the way, in the quackable. He's so loud. No, dude. I think he got me. Because the boulder is too healthy. Yeah. Cat can't, cat, the cat can't beat Weezing and. Yeah. Ah, oh, I should have flipped. I mean, he's not out of playoffs. Oh, no, no, he got me. I should have flipped. Oh, shit, dude. He has been X. Okay, we're going to be honest for whatever. Oh, U turns. Interesting. He's not going for his duck endgame. Oh, he is Scarf. He's definitely Scarf if he's doing that. Damn, I'm surprised. I just see he wants to save it to be. to be, um... I guess it is Scarf, so he doesn't want to do it. If Joey goes 3 for 3, you should do play more style draft content and someone else play the games. He just commentates. Yo, I gotta play the games, fam. That's my favorite part. Actually, drafting and, and the team testing is fun. Hey, Scarf Inferno 2. I can't, I don't know how I win this game. Neutralizing gas, okay. Oh, neutralizing uh, gas actually gives, gives him a chance. Hacks out, that's tough. Gives him a chance, yeah. Neutralizing Gus gives him a chance. I need to score lower, but I need him to make a human error or something. Staying in here. Nah, it's been great. I guess yeah, you have... every time. Did he almost Terra? Big? Was that crit? No, he just dies. Huh. I locked myself in a psychic. I mean, then he just... Now he just loses him on to Boulder. Dude, he just clicks up. And he yeah, okay, sir. And then I watch. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Try, like, a Jirachi or something? This is where I need human error. Thank you, Levo. I appreciate you. This yeah. is where I would need it. Yeah, I don't think he saw neutralizing gas. Earth power was definitely the move. Um, I think he still lost anyway if it's Scarf Quackable plus Scarf Ape, obviously, but... I, I I really don't think it matters. You literally go to Mighty Cleave and click Mighty Cleave. I think he played Earth right. power also doesn't kill... <clears throat> Earth power also doesn't kill Iron Boulder because it's stupid spadef. So it would kill this and then Meow versus the world. Rocks really well. I could not put rocks up. Gluteus. Gluteus. Nah, he knows. Uh, know Techno, if it had Terra, oh, yes. Dude. After another pair of rocks, I would just need a fire blast miss. So yeah, I just don't even think I stay in here. I would need him. I basically need him to click sub here. And if this is a throw on my part, I, I don't really care. I just need him to click sub here. Okay. Yeah, I think he subs. Yeah, TK, I can see it. <laughs> you think he subs? Dude, guys, it's 50 50s. Do you think he subs? He's lefty. Do you think he subs? I'm, I'm down. Hey, bro, at this point, I think he subs. He switches. I could try. I could maybe see it, Micah. Smart. Wait, I just got the scarf. Are we back? Doesn't kill, though. Ask me now. But I can't kill the boulder. I, I literally can't kill the boulder. 
Maybe I U-turn. There are drafts. I can try. I should probably thought that one through. Maybe I U-turn there instead of knock off and think it through for like a little bit there, because that also breaks some. And then I get my switch back onto the monitor. Flower trick kills? Are you serious? Oh, is he overgrow? Oh, he's overgrow. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Plus, if the duck has aqua jet, you know. Wild gray. Yeah, if it's if it's flat, if it's overgrow, yeah. Nexus, the timer. Hey, no worries, Jacoby. Nice. Well, boys. Quackable comes out of its scarf. That may have been what we needed. That may have been what we needed. Okay, I think if he comes out the boulder, I think I damn it. That's what now. There's a little boost to boost. Oh, it is scarf. True. I'm not seeing any errors, brother. He oh, have aqua jet. no, it's Scarf. Surely it's Scarf. I mean, I guess it, it banded Aqua Jet with 2 AKO anyway. 1.5. Dude, Aqua Jet guarantee kills. Yeah. It does minimum 67. Sucker crit is the play. Bro, do I go out into my enamor here? No, you get two shot. What are you doing? Is that throwing if I go out to my enamor here on the Aqua Jet? Yes. You're at 50. Guys, I'm conflicted on this end game. I'm doing this. Oh my god! Boy, said wave crash! Wait! The fuck? Wait! Hello? Don't do that to me. I don't know what you just did to me, but I don't, I don't like that. I don't know what just happened. Anyway, um... I guess he didn't have Aqua Step, maybe. But, uh... That just put him in soccer range. Now it comes down to 50-50s. He didn't even have it. <sighs> Now he's in sucker rage. Yeah, you got a sucker, buddy. He didn't even have it. So many mind games, guys. Maybe I threw doing that. <sighs> sucker punch right now, just 23 to 27. That looks like it kills. Oh my god, this game comes down to if he subs versus sucker. Yo! I should have just baked on the fact that he didn't have it. I would have been in such a good position. I would have been in such a good yeah, position. Yeah, if he, he had Aqua Step, oh, he 100% should just right click now, Aqua Step right then. Now. He should have clicked Aqua Step. He's lefty. Why would he not be sub? Predict it. Guys, I'm scared. I have to. He's lefties. I think I have to knock here. Uh, we're definitely not extending. Kills right now. Uh, to more than eight weeks, but. I don't, I'm, I'm conflicted. We'll see what happens. I can't believe he didn't click Aqua Step. It was just a win. Oh, he called I'm it too. Game, guys. I threw too hard. I'm so. I threw this game so hard, dude. I threw this game so hard. I click knock every time. Yeah, it doesn't. I speak. threw this game so hard, dude. I threw this game so hard. It's it's in my favor to not click sucker punch. He literally just saw me do it. GG's to Drew, man. Damn. Future me. My mind is telling me that I threw this game, but in reality, it was a 50-50, and Drew got me, bro. It was a tough game. That Zen miss was massive. What can you do? Game is game, man. GG's to Drew, man. Trainers, what is going on, Drew here, coach of New York Order, bringing you. Oh, we just watched this. SPL, we are in a that was wild. Yeah, Boulder's 381, Meow is 379. That was wild. Isn't Meow faster than Boulder? No. Boulder is fast as hell. That was crazy. All right, let's watch this. Uh, let's watch this Shuckle versus Playmore. This is actually another very important game. All these games matter for playoffs. Let's get it. For my week seven game for Shuckle Premier League against Play And he's doing cooking with Shuckle, which is so awesome because we did cooking with Envy. Play more. I am cooking up some frog legs with pecan sauce for no particular. For Greninja. <laughs> yeah, he would have to get a lot of 50 uh, 50s, right? I think Drew definitely should have just clicked Aqua Step. It was an auto win, but. Particular reason. I I think he uh, didn't remember what HP and Amherst was at. I'm pretty sure Aqua Step always was a play anyway. First, I'm gathering the ingredients that I already have in the house and me some plus prior to cooking. So, first, I will do a rough chop of the onion, carrots, and celery. And also cook down a few pieces of bacon to get some of the bacon fat incorporated into the veggies. Ooh. I then remove the bacon and toss in some butter to sweat down the veggies and add flour as a thickener. Once the veggies are soft, I... That looks good. He's cooking Bubby. <laughs> I will add two cups of chicken stock because I smelled the beef stock and yeah, I'm not going to use that. As well as some sherry and tomato paste. I add some of the dry herbs since I do not have live ones on me. I cut up well, four before you fight Cyclazar. dried Thai chilies for some major heat. Hope it won't be too much heat. As well as some oregano as an alternative to thyme. Once the base starts boiling, what I'll up, turn uh, the heat how you doing, buddy? and let it simmer. 
Next, I have the frog legs, drying them off and adding a lot of salt to get all the moisture out so there's minimal water when I fry them. And meanwhile, I'll make the batter, the egg batter being eggs, quarter cup of soy milk, salt, pepper, garlic powder, ground mustard, and turmeric. Dry ingredients use flour, cornstarch, and the same seasonings as before. Next, I heat up my wok for the frying. You can see all the water that has left the frog legs. Make sure you remove the salt on the surface. What up, Ness? How you doing, toss buddy? the frogs in the egg and then the flour mixture, ideally keeping one hand for each task. Yeah, smart. While the oil eats up, I'll make the flavoring component for the sauce using equal parts sherry. I have these pans. I have never had frog legs. This is a battle, by the way, guys. Don't worry. This is just the intro. Red wine vinegar, and then a quarter I'm onion. Glad, nice. Ideally reducing this by half. It tastes like chicken. I add the frog legs once it. the oil gets hot enough, cooking for about three to four minutes on each side. That's a little deep fry. Once the flavoring is reduced, I add it to the sauce base and let them cook together for about 10 minutes, finishing with salt, pepper, and some chopped Oh pickles. my God, this looks good. And now for the taste. Why you cooking? You just, it's a little... So the sauce is fruity and sweet with the tomato paste, like a chicken noodle soup base with the celery, carrots, and onions. The pickling flavor with the vinegar and what sherry up, gives it a nice sour taste, and the Thai chilies give a good but not overpowering heat. The frog legs give a pretty standard fried fish taste like a cod with a chicken texture. Overall, I approve of this dish. Now, let's get to the game. All right, here we are, ready to play. Play more, so... That boy just cooked Bubby. <laughs> that was nice. Let's get it. I freaking love Shuckle. He's so good. Like he's he's such a good guy. Let's get it. Yeah, and the fact that it like didn't kill him as well, that actually looked good. Like, this is the first time I've seen him happy after eating something for play. My goal is to lead with the Glamour. Maybe sweep with... I have a couple things I could sweep. The Backscalibur, probably unlikely. The um, Ursaluna breaks very well. The Hariyama, though, is going to be the, uh, that leads the main Hariyama's target I'm trying to sweep. Make sure I Terra steal. Well, now I don't have Bronzong this week, so maybe I'll remember to actually use my Terra. <laughs> yeah, the milkshake so was absolutely crazy. More. I imagine it's special Garchomp to leave. It is Garchomp to leave. Now I can go for a Dazzling Gleam to hit it hard, but I don't think I accomplished too much from that. He'll probably go for an Earth Power. I like to get up Spikes because Spikes do more overall damage to the team than a Lair Stealth Rocks. Uh, again, this is the second game, Fred. Earth Power is going to come out here. Bring me to my Focus Sash, and then I can go in Hattering. Ooh, it's Earthquake. earthquake. Okay. Ooh. That is great. So I got a layer of Toxic Spikes up, and you're going to have to use Cyclosar to remove them. So I'm pretty good with this exchange here. Now I can go into Hatterene. Fast, I don't know if you fast, fast. Right. goes for like a Poison Jab or something like that, but I am able to take it on if that is the uh, the situation. I think I prefer to keep this as a sack, so we're going to switch out. Let's see what we go into. A Dazzling Gleam is pretty obvious here. Playoffs is, uh, is Bubby. Cyclosar yep. comes out. Okay. So Dazzling Gleam would have done decent damage to this. I'll try. Uh, uh, A-Drive probably Hatterene. not, but I can definitely get a Mod if you're at Salt Vest, you take the Dazzling Gleam. You are heavy duty boots, though. So. Iki is surprising because uh, Earth people generally run Earth Power when they fight something like Glamora, so they don't activate its ability. So, uh, Dazzling Gleam is doing a lot. Probably not killing, however. But he is going to switch out. Smart. I'm with this. Metagross comes down and gives him decent momentum. Smart. He's literally playing like because play more has to win games to get to playoffs, and so does Shuckle. So these are important. He's instead of like doing it just to spin, it's smart. Because if he dies there, he can get up a T-Spike later anyway. I do have a layer of spikes up. Now, do I want to keep this? Probably not. I think I just hard switch into Glamora. I do a little bit of damage. Basically, max HP at Metagross. Makes a lot of sense into my team. I'm going to go true. and sack off the Hatter, uh, the Glamora here. Ideally, you don't go for Stealth Rock. You just go for a Steel move. I got up another layer. Let's see. Heavy Slam. Fine, mm. I got a second layer. I love that Metagross got Heavy Slam. Honestly, with how offensive the team is, probably doesn't make too big of a deal. But the next um, Pokemon I'm going to go into is the Ursa Luna, and we're going to click Earth Power. This should kill. I have a lot of speed on this. And worst case, I do have a Chopple Berry in case he's fast with Low Kick or fast with Hammer Arm. All right, so we are going to go right for the Earth Power here. Hopefully, I add speed. It's not a. Um, it is. I want to drop this so the, badly, CB. On the Metagross, but it's boots on the. Uh, it's Shook Up. Cyclosa. Yo, it's faster, so though. Faster. Jeez. So it is not speed at all. Let's see if it's Grass Knot. Stealth Rocks go up. Okay, that's fine with me. I mean, it's not great. It, it weakens the, uh, the back Scalibur. I we agree, Ness. Full health, and it doesn't really have a ton to really take this on. Yo, this one looks crazy. And just let this go down. That could be an option. But Chuck Berry was because like he can't he can't he defensively go anything because you get cooked so you by Earth the, Power in a vacuum. Um, Vaporeon is also pretty speedy. The crit would have been great. The uh, yeah, it is. Just turn really to pick up that kill. I definitely, definitely would is. like a little bit of luck this season after the uh, how the first couple games have gone. But we we're definitely in the uh, 
outside looking into the playoffs, uh, Playmore is like on the border. So we're going to see. I feel like Shuckle does have such really unlucky seasons all the time. I really do. There. Cyclist Art comes out. Like he has not made playoffs in a bit and he's just, he's such a good player. Now, do you rapid spin? I've also dodged him in every draft league I think we've been in. Probably, but I think I just stay in and um, Blood Moon this. Cyclazar, I mean, I kill. So we're gonna go for a Blood but Moon. But it's good. Rapid spin, sure. That does 43. But I should be killing lots to be super specially defensive. But we'll see if this is worth the trade. He has Hadrids up against me, but he has a couple Pokemon Jeez. down. Jeez, goes dead. Blood Moon going okay. stupid. Cyclazar is dead and the Metagross is dead. So he wins the Hazard War, but I have more Pokemon, so. We'll see if which position is going to be better. I know, TK. Like okay. <laughs> definitely not the most exciting to see, but Hanrine should be able to take basically anything one-on-one. -on -one. Vaporeon, I call mine on this. Into, I think, a Blood Moon, though I could call mine again. Yeah, I agree, CB. That. And now he has a decision to make because he knows I'm fast, so we'll see what he's going to do. He's going to go into Garchomp. I'm not threatened by this. Honestly, I, Earth power here. I don't even remember Red. <laughs> Where do I call mine? Garchomp. No, I just go for an Earth Power if he's like very bulky or something like that. So where's Dance comes out? And this is good damage, especially for um well, do you even kill? Fifty percent. So he's pretty bulky. Like max HP. Now there's a plus two. It killed me. Earthquake. Blood Moon is annoying. What game is this? Three hundred thirty. If he's Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, give it. It's gonna do a little bit more. Can he be admin against my team? Maybe. Shuffle then, versus uh play more. Aqua Tail definitely kills. Adarine. Doesn't want to take that. I think I just stay in and Blood Moon. Earthquake, this doesn't kill. Let's see if this kills. No freaking way. It does Damn, kill. is it ground play? Season. Yeah, I was about to say. Had to be something offensive. So, Garchomp gets the kill on my Ursa Luna. I feel like... Do, do I, I care for Zapdos? Pokemon lore or just competitive? Competitive means more to me, but I do enjoy, like, the story and stuff. I just don't remember why Blood Moon was... Oh, this is the third... This is the second game. Second game. Yeah, I just don't remember why Blood Moon was... was. Oh, it was adamant. Damn. Those. And soft saying adamant. Damn. Close combat might not kill. No, same thing, Josh. Do I go into Hatterene? Earthquake might kill, though. I think I go into Zapdos. Gapdos. And I click Brave Bird, so I don't lower my defenses. Do I like VGC? I I'll watch it. I'm not, uh, like, Definitely risky. an avid uh, player. I, uh, I, I recently played VGC with uh, Justin. Um, I went to Envy's house and we played, what's it called? We played VGC. We got to rank five on the ladder, which is cool. We played 18 games. We went 17 and one with Justin Tang, the recent two-time uh, regional winner. He's really cool. I like him. The type of way about VGC creators referring to VGC as competitive Pokemon? I feel no type of way about that. Competitive Pokemon is literally any Pokemon that you play competitively. It doesn't have to be a thank you, Gorilla. Appreciate you, buddy. It doesn't have to be official for it to be competitive, right? Like, that doesn't mean anything. Project M wasn't official, but that was hella competitive. I hope you like it, buddy. Why is my jaw insert perfect? I, I don't think so, but. Been a high roll from the earthquake? No, because I was at 3.30. Is that 17 1 VGCBS run on a VOD somewhere? No, we just did that. Uh, like, it was like 11.30, and we played till like 1.30 a.m. just for fun. I have not. Before there was a low chance that he could have killed if he well, actually, like, the... attack Jolly. I'm It'd be great if this was killed, and it does. Perfect. I guess see. he knows I'm not um, Ice Shard Excalibur, but I think that's okay. So Garchomp is dead. That is a threat down. It is three against four. Uh, how oh, is my... on Reddit. Interesting. I'll check it out. I'll check it out. I think it's looking okay. It really depends if I outspeed the Vaporeon or not. It helps a lot if I outspeed the Vaporeon at least. Now this is probably Scarfed. It is definitely Scarf. I think I te do I test if it's Scarfed or not. Because I would like it to take on the... Uh, but Scarf might be able to 2KO Hatterene. Let's see, Hatterene to Valiant. Moonblast after Rocks. I mean... 84% chance of 2KO. So, I think I have... I guess you sack this and then you Terra Steel your Hariyama and get a hit off. Pop the recently, I think it's interesting. Oh, check it out. I don't think single players down look... Sing, uh, VC players, we both love Pokemon after all. Yeah, I mean, the... Some of the best uh, VGC players are some of my good friends. Like, it is what it is. You see, singers pretty different. How to teach Yeah. Just all different. have to stay in here. And go At the end of the day, Pokemon's Pokemon. If, if you know what a Pokemon does, you can play. That's the way I see it anyway. If you know what a Pokemon if you know what Pokemon do, you can play. For Brave Bird? Okay, he has it Scarf. It is Scarf. 
All right, so you go Hariyama here and Terra Steel. It's time to go into Hariyama, Terra Ooh. Steel, and Belly Drum, right? Moonblast to that I beat if he stays in. Yeah, we're going to go for Belly Drum here. If he stays in, then I can Bullet Punch. Electrode shouldn't threaten me with anything if I'm Terra Steel. He's... But it was definitely a good good call to sack the Zapdos, give myself a position, yeah. a setup, and obviously if he wasn't Scarf and was bluffing it, then I just get the kill. If he's Focus Ash, that, well, no, obviously he's not focused. The pasta was so good, Scarf, Abdul. Um, Valiant. <laughs> and we're gonna Dream Punch and get all that HP back. I enjoyed the pasta. What can Electro do to me? Yeah, he did it. He Electro. did adapt to singles in draft. I mean, Thunderbolt. Again, it just comes down to player, to, to, Is that gonna to kill? Pokemon. As long as you know what a Pokemon can do, you can play. Yeah, I saw it. I mean, if he kills, that it's good game. Modest doesn't kill. Um, choice Specs? Choice Specs does not kill. Modest Choice Specs doesn't kill. If he's like Terra, Damn. then so be it. Ooh. Oh, what is this? That's that berry? Well, I'm recovering a ton of HP. You get it all back, right? You have to imagine I'm Bullet Punch, right? Static, static chance, maybe? Red card! Oh Red my card. god, that's so cool! So I have full health. That's not the worst thing, and I'm Terra Steel. What up, Abel? Excal that's so cool. Bro. Dude, that's so... Oh my god. That's actually so sick. I gotta see... I gotta see how he was. If we're gonna lose there, I thought that was the no. If you're trying to run that man out of I the city, for I gotta see their reaction and everybody and everybody's reaction for dropping passes. I, 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 I feel so much confidence. Like they just. I, what is I I I'm I'm astounded oh. to see Aglor on the other side of the field right now. <laughs> astounded. Well, this is important. Let's uh, moving past the sports he's, ball. He scared us into a switch with his giant. Oh, yeah, his nickname. Yeah. <laughs> Never dropped a pass in his life. Uh, we're gonna find out the Terra here, and with red card, he's forced out. Correct. Uh, yeah, oh, so they they, they know there's no his record. Quickly evacuated. Okay, yep, and this was a great switch. With that Steel Terra, obviously Moonblast would have done negative five damage, mm -hmm. and I don't... Ooh. Ooh. Maybe. Oh. Ooh. Oh. oh, we're fine, because we yeah, outspeed. We're perfectly fine, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're perfectly fine, and even if they kill, they're out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that coach. <laughs> this is a man who brings... Me That's what I was looking for. Because he... Tar ben is great. Atario always has little reactions over here. One named playoff to an incredible Yo. <laughs> he, he was so excited about this play. Oh my god. So excited. Yeah, and the plus six Hariyama. <laughs> Mere child's play. A flesh wound, if you will. I'm at one percent. Drum in front of our face, the indoor. Bye bye. Get out of here. That's so sick. I don't want to see your face in this town again. That was great, man. That was sick. Lover comes out. And I take rocks. Now you go for a Terra Blast here. I don't think I do much of anything besides just go. That for was so it. good. That was play of the day. Maybe Iron Head was the play. Uh, it, it's it's still a, I would say it still looks pretty good for Shuckle. I I will agree that it still looks pretty good for Shuckle, depending on the Vaporeon set. Like if it uh, even if Skull Burns Hariyama, that's not even good for it, right? Because it has um guts. No, it actually looks still pretty good for Shuckle. It's Scarf Val, so that'll never kill both Hatterene plus Hariyama. This is gonna be close though. Iron Valiant. Yeah, it definitely still looks good for Shuckle, but that was so and sick. And he's like, close combat? Close combat's gonna kill my Hariyama. That's a cool set. Yeah, Drain Punch did take a lot of that play instead of like bullet punching, because he actually got back to full. I don't think I could have done too I much I love that prep that. a lot. Red I'm gonna I'm 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 remember that prep. Neat there. Prep is cool. And, let's see. He's gonna go for the Terra Fairy. I think, is that gonna kill? That might kill. Really unfortunate I didn't have Ice Shard. I was really debating it. Uh, Terra Blast, I imagine that kills. Uh, it actually doesn't kill. So that's great. Okay, that isn't bad. I still have the... But the thing is, I can't go into Hatterene. 
because like I won't be able to heal and wish this up. God, bro, why always sound like a car is crashing behind? <laughs> Shut up. Hey, well, look what I just DM'd you on uh on Discord. I got so excited. Mm, man. Oh, I got so excited for no reason. I DM Amo like an idiot. Dude, what if I did Harvest, Cuss that berry, Endure, Red Card, Arboliva? Wait, damn it, it's not a berry! Unfort. Damn it! It's not a damn berry, okay, it's so a card. It should be a berry. Damn it. So we're gonna let this go down. Then we go into Hatterene. Well, depending on what well, he I mean, does. It depends right? what he locks himself into. Yeah. I, I feel like you have to go for a close combat here. Coming down to the wire. I kind of figured it was going to be a fast offensive game, so hopefully it comes down to uh, to my side here. I have the 3-2 to two lead. Palpalberry, not going to make a difference. Um, It's always been like that devotion. It's just yeah, faster. Do I just kill with Hariyama to Iron Valiant? No, I don't kill. Yeah, I go in Hatterene and I put... Yeah, pass. Jovel. I don't think I... I think it could have been Jovel, but it didn't have to be Belly Germ, right? It could have just been Terra Steel Heavy Slam or something like that. And if he loses Val, he kind of just loses uh, to the rest of the Mons, in my opinion, because nothing can kill Hariyama. Do I just cycle red card? You can, yeah. No, because the Aquarium could I don't, but... turn on my Baton Pass, and then I'm in a weird position. So I think I Baton Pass here. Smart. I mean, worth it. Like, you stay in close combat, then I kill with my Hariyama. Yeah, bullet, bullet punch. Well, I mean. I guess you could be like a little bit of bulk. If you're a, uh, okay, you are gonna stay in. So let's see, you're minus two defense. I guess maybe it's. I think I have a good chance to. A setup Vaporeon. They killed a bullet punch. And we just go for that. You could be super bulky, but mm. I think based on the HP, like I'd expect you to outspeed my. Uh, you were gifted mages because it's pretty good into this game. I'd have a seventy-five percent chance to kill with bullet punch, so you are gonna switch out. Bullet punch and do nothing to the Vaporeon. I don't think you do too much to me in return. Do I belly drum here? That's sick, Captain. Yeah, that's a question. Uh, I'm not sure. Who. Scarf Iron Valiant. I'm not sure. It seems kind of crazy because you covered Bax Caliber. I guess it covers of Scarf Greninja. That's like not Protean. And Battle Battle. That's a lot to ask for. Um, Vaporeon. I could just Drain Punch. He has Scald, so I could get burned here. I'm gonna go for the Belly Drum. Whatever. If if I win by getting a Belly Drum sweep, then that's pretty cool to me. Does he not have guts? Does the Scald burn matter? Oh, good play. Good play. Oh, good play. No. Good play. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's wild. I'm gonna lose. I'm gonna get confused like I did against Chimp. Oh. Oh, big. Oh my gosh. Wait, was he not? Is he not Guts Hariyama? How hard is it calculated during an SPL match? Now we got 60 seconds. It's not that bad. You should have your team pre imported and you always put like max HP in the months. It's not that bad. That's great. Um, That was beautiful, by the way, by Tar Heel. I'm surprised though. Was I guess he just wasn't guts, right? Because like you could just click drain punch a couple times. I guess then it'd be fifty fifty to go back to Val. Oh, if he baton passed the Val, that could be a fifty fifty. Yeah, if he had flip turn or baton pass, that would have been good too. If he knew he was gonna belly drum, maybe the play was to go Val. But if he has vacuum wave, but I don't think vacuum wave kills. All right. Well, we're gonna win this two zero. Why did he? Why did he have to do that? <laughs> he brought back some pretty bad memories against the uh, the chimp act and my Hatterene there. Actually, but this will be Hatterene close. coming in clutch. He has, to, my he has to hope he hits himself. Yeah, I, train. I believe my Hatterene is uh, 0 and 5 this season or something like that. 0 and 6, something like that. So, oh no, I could definitely still. If he hits himself, he does a billion oh, no. percent. Oh my god, that's that's, that's Moonblast range. Oh no, do I lose Yo! Game? No way Hatterene dies. I think I had a choice. Well, if Hatterene gets. Hold I think up. I had to go for it. Hold up. If Hatterene gets special attack dropped. Yeah, if Hatterene gets special attack drop, he uh He loses. Damn. Right. Yeah, no no no. Hat win hat loses if special attack I think drop. The Dazzling Gleam is gonna come in clutch. Hat literally loses if special attack drop. Actually, I think I just kill. Unless he gets a crit. If he gets a crit, then I die. 
Psychic is stronger. stronger. Hey, Foster, I'm yep. doing well, buddy. How are you? And I should be brought in range of my Cuthbat Berry. Maybe once he gets like a low, low roll. Okay, I'm in Cuthbat Berry range. That was okay. my special attack. Oh, you're right. He's okay, Cuthbat anyway. Yeah, we're good. Nice. <laughs> oh, my God. Jeez, that was crazy. I mean, if you got the confusion with the Vaporeon, then I... I that was a great end game, though. Killed. He probably killed me with like a Surf or something like that. But okay, we got to win. We need kind of need like differential for sure. If I get the four and four, then I might have a chance because this week was basically my destiny. Having to beat Playmore and having to beat next both had me in standing. So good game to them. And until next time, later, guys. That was nice. That was a real. That was a real game. Let's watch Kyle. We haven't watched Kyle in a minute. That was that was wild. The best or worst team ever. Oh no. Other my boy, Lord Envy, the one and only, the chosen one. That was a fire I'll game. What, I man, love that game. It comes to this boy Envy. Chinese EV spreads. This dude has the EVs on deck. So what don't don't give him too much credit. What's standing looking like after the week? I'll talk about it after. Sophie, did you change your name to, to just Sophie? I did was I put together either the best team of all time or the absolute worst. <laughs> so we are gonna find out. Okay, if this is Scarf Cleaver, this is gonna be absolutely horrible for me, and under no circumstances is it good. Bro, this so, Walter can... You can buy a house in Japan before you buy a house in America. I believe it. I believe, bro, this, this fake talent play has been doing nothing. Literally just don't ask for free here, and there's not really anything I can do about that. All right, I'm gonna go wiki. That is not the lead I want to see at all, <clears throat> but it's all right. Now you know stuff. I was but... pretty much cool with anything else. Okay, he does hit the stone axe anyway, so that's Whoops. fine. He is gonna get his rocks up on for me, but I mean, I got the boots on my Moltres anyway, so it ain't the worst. I can just off rip Terra, and then I'm just gonna <laughs> Mike. He switches, he switches. He does, okay. I hope He's you like it, buddy. Go yeah, okay, so that's good. I didn't want to overthink there. I almost play roughed, but it's all right. Not the end of the world. Not the end of the world. Houndstone is a good switch anyway. I like fluffy Houndstone okay, a lot sorry, in this game. Guys here, so good play on him. A bit predictable by me, I must say, but that's fine. It's that did breakers, nothing, so by the way. I could literally just body press right here and do like a quarter. I guess I don't know what he's going to want to do to me. I mean, I guess he could just set up, which would be kind of unfortunate. I guess let's just see. I'll just fire play rough, uh, play rough this turn. It's not going to do much, right? Okay, Jeez, so. bro. Little under a quarter. He goes with the psychic noise. Ooh. Envy always is okay. the most defensive sets. So it's got psychic noise, so I can't heal. Yeah, last respect is bad. Uh, it's fine for this guy at least. So what was he predicting to come in? Maybe Clefable? So he knows here I'm down to play rough again. He's really in no threat to, to switch or do anything. I mean I did a quarter to him. I guess I could just literally click that again. I'm assault vest. He probably knows that from that damage. I'm literally max HP, max defense. It so looks like it. <laughs> I'm just trying to have as much just bulk as possible. Okay, and he's just gonna stay in, so he'll probably he might nasty plot on me right here, but if I can get this guy down to about fifty percent, fifty two ish. Okay, so he's just looking this. Okay. Is it A V? Oh, that one was a crit. Okay, that's fine. So he can just psychic noise again on me, and there's really not too much I can do about it. I guess I could go plug me in and I, I just kinda threaten him out with bug buzz. Also could set up sticky webs. I am gonna take rocks damage, so like, unfortunately, and I already terra, so I can't terra electric now. So like webs into uh what's it called? Webs into like ape plus Empoleon isn't always the greatest thing, but Nexus obviously did it and it worked out last week, right? So it's not terrible. No. Good play. He also realized we were getting who is that? Oh, it's you. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to kill you with Bug Buzz? Let me see. Okay, I don't. I thought that you had super. Much as a fire tech. I thought that it was like uh Tentacruel. For uh this is Raging deep. Bolt. Okay, that's fine. So I got my webs up here. Yeah, I don't know why. Obviously, Flygon doesn't really. I didn't show the replays, no. Okay, now as far as this guy goes, I'm, this he can rage fist it. on me, kind of for free. So what I could do is take this opportunity. Maybe I can mud shot him and just kind of get a speed drop on this guy, and then try and switch out next turn. It might be nice. It will reveal the mud shot. How bad is that? Hey, for before me? you come, first, actually. Uh, three. Okay, fair enough. I, I honestly, I'm, I'm keeping a buck. I didn't even know that boy got encore. So sure, I am gonna have to switch out here, unfortunately. Okay, I know Envy's a goat, but is he a god? That's the question. I think he's a demigod mm. at least. So there's a chance that I don't just get clapped on this switch. Okay, he's gonna switch. Too. Okay, the double. Nah, All right, I'm literally playing into this guy's trap. So I should have went Tentacruel. I was debating if I go Tentacruel or if I go the competitive boost. Ooh. So but the best defogger no longer gets defog, so he just gets the competitive boost here. So that's pretty unfortunate for me, and that might just do me in. If this is wild. Say especially offensive. Who cares? He's plus two now, so I do die. This is wild. When you need the my boy Kyle needs speed and speed. To water move, of course. Does he have any reason to not click a water move? Oh, I'm taking up so much time here. Hey, it, it worked though. Here, holy cow. And I've just revealed my boots. Because I want to be fighting Empoleon with KY Jellyfish, if I'm being honest. That's who I want to be fighting this guy with. Now, do we think Empoleon is running. Okay, this surf. 
It's fine. That's gonna kill me. Pulion kills Houndstone. So now I can look at, let's see, Tentacruel. I think this is where I set up the KY Jellyfish. As you can see, I got something crazy on here. Got that miracle on so deck. So I think right here, I can do one of two things. I kind of want to reflect type because I don't know. I mean, he's plus two, right? So he could just try to hit me here. I could also just mirror coat right now off rip. I reflect like the... type, as long as he literally doesn't go like annihilate, I should be straight. If he stays in, that's fine. What's the... get personal here. Okay, so he does stay in. Okay. Dude, miracle would have been fire. So that's gonna change me to water steel. That does so much. Okay, let's see. So he's plus two. So for him to do 20%, I'm only going to get about five back if I Giga Drain. I guess I could just Mirror Coat. Oh, I'm playing like shit. I can do a couple bad plays and be okay. As he does go into you. Oh, Dazzling Gleam, dude. I would have cooked. Reflect Sight Santa Claus is really yep, cool. Okay. Um, I wish I knew what so he was using it for. Plus two, and I I'm not sure level. The crazy thing is, like, I actually liked my prep here. I just botched the shit out of it. I just played it terrible. I just played it terrible is all. And that's okay. That's part of the game. So, all Dazzling Gleam. I was kind of doubting my, my instincts. Oh, my God. I'm getting read like a fucking book. Although, I feel like I kind of have to. He's trying to oh, scout me, I guess. Oh, it's for Raging Bolt. That's sick. Is this where I just show Envy all my moves? I mean, he knows I got Mirror Coat, so I don't... Is he choiced? He surfed me. Have I only seen Surf? I think I've only seen Surf. Maybe I'm tripping. I mean, he knows I have Mirror Coat. All right, I'm done. Let me just switching. I guess he was scouting for Ice Beam, too. He knows I want to Mirror Coat that guy. I'm going to tell you right now. So here's the current situation that I'm dealing with, chat. Like, if I'm being honest, this is... This is pretty I mean, Dragon Ball is weaker. ...for quite some time now. For the past week, pretty much, my uh, mama has been in the hospital. She got out, though, today, as I'm playing. So I'm glad. that's hype. I'm glad she that. got out. And uh, so that's why I have some late uploads. So I'm really sorry about that. But I'm doing the best I can, man. I really am trying. I'm obviously not going to get this heat off. So I'm just going to just say fuck it and let this guy die. I'm wasting too much of my time. I'm just wasting too much of my time. I brought the coolest set on this guy. and I, But I played it bad. So that did, I think did that missed. That did zero. Could have mirror coded that guy on the earth power. But I yeah. didn't. So that's fine. Here's what it is. I'm going to dazzle and let him die. Sure. I spent the most time building this tentacruel. But I didn't think he was going to bring the paradox Raikou or whatever. So... I changed it, but I kept a similar build because I built this thing to counter. This uh, Fable and Ursa like, both actually, still look good. He's probably not gonna bring it, so I'll build it to counter Napoleon. Toes kills Tentacruel. I kind of just want to message him GG. I brought a bunch of cool stuff. He played tremendously, and I didn't. Sorry, we're not really gonna get to see the heat. This dude probably gets a fighting move for all I know. I, I don't. Oh, you got the I fling know. too. Poor Kyle. Oh, hey, we're out here. Let's to be fair, like he said, his mom was just in the hospital, so he's, he's definitely not like thinking about this game while playing it. Still gummy bear. Still got a lot of things too. Activate my uh my plus one. I feel like I just die. But yeah, I was hoping uh I could have got off some of those things. Cause originally I was. Ooh. Okay. All right, so now I'm in a situation where I think yeah no I just I'm so ass. I keep trying to start a sentence and then not saying my sentence. So I'm so sorry. I've just been thrown off. I've been playing terrible. I mean I guess at this point I just I click I literally just click facade. I don't have a choice. The question is though, if he goes annihilate, do I just get outspeed outsped and cucked? Maybe not. Yeah. I, mean, I think the correct play there. Okay, never mind. Okay. Nice. I I was throwing. Okay, I, I was gonna say I think the correct play might actually be predictive switch since I'm already down. I think player might have uh, killed. Trailblaze again because now there's no longer webs. Earth Rain kills Toad Scroll. Okay, we're on the board though, Don fans. Okay, but anyways, I forgot the other thing I was gonna talk to you guys about. I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe I can get webs up again. I brought webs knowing that he had Defiant and competitive. I wasn't sure if he would for sure bring Defiant on an Eyelape, but I was pretty confident that he would. I knew for sure it'd be competitive Penguin, but I was trying to counter that with like Miracle and do some fun stuff. So. He brought this out, so I think he outspeeds for sure. He either outspeeds or he knows that he's gonna live. And if he is, I mean, there ain't nothing I can do about it. So, fling, flip. fling, flame orb. That's so sick. Oh, I am faster. Let's go. Let's burn this boy. Burn him. Get him out of here. That's Watch so sick. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna die, but that's fine. I'm gonna die, but I at least burn this dude. So that's okay. I burned him, and he currently does not have a defined boost because there's no sticky web. So, in a way, what kind Marvin? Of net positive. What can I do from here? I think maybe I can bring in my talent flame. Actually, I can bring in Clef. I think I bring in Clef and I just start clicking Tossy Power. <laughs> Who encored me earlier? Oh, no, it was this guy encored me. Okay, so he he has Encore. I know he does. So I'm just going to click Moonblast. Yeah, that's fine. I actually almost forgot about Encore. That was almost really bad. Yeah, yeah is really, still was really bad. Is really good guy, here, so though. I just did that for nothing. Amp is really good. That's fine. I'll Tossy Power anyways. Why not? There's no way he's going to go back into Annihilate. I'm probably just going to die. So it's fine. Yeah, it's okay. It's I played it bad. I'm I know, Skyla. I saw. Congratulations. <laughs> Should have just cosmic kind of powered. It's hard whenever you're in a situation like this because you have to make a I read, know, right? fam. So it's like you're, you're in the situation when it's like, do I or do I not make the ultra aggressive play? Yeah, that's game. Well played. Yeah, 5 0. That's okay. Sorry, not trying to be negative. So I think I drafted a good team. I refuse to have anybody tell me I don't have a good team. The thing is, though, my team does not fit the way I play the game at all. It just doesn't. I like weather, but I cannot have weather be my primary thing. I like that to be an alternate method. And it's like you can tell by how often I don't bring it, well, especially sand. I think the sand Pokemon suck. <laughs> like, they are not good. Does he just go fly on? I don't Yeah, even, drill's not like, that I really great. I don't even know what I'd rather have a tread. I'm going to bug buzz him. I don't even care anymore. Is he gonna go flag on? No, he gets free rocks. Okay. He, he chooses the, the, the guy that's not gonna get hurt by the bug move. Okay. GG. This is why MB's a lord. And I'm not. Is that crit? It has to be, right? No. Oh, standard dot. Like that. Okay. Didn't sticky web there either. Here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna dodge a stone axe. No, I'm not. And GG.
like I said, it's either going to be the best team or the worst team that I brought in. It's looking like the worst team. I've uh, not had a... Now I feel bad for having, like, a monster win week two against Chimp because I've just kind of played, like, shit every other game all season. That Latios so, was like, great, I, I though. Feel bad. All right, here's what's going to happen. Um, I'm going to dodge Stone Axe, and I'm going to max roll Flame Charge and kill him. Oh, GG. It was pretty That's decent. That's all I got, Don fans. Sure. sure. GG to MB. That's he had, he, uh, he had a clear amulet. Um... Was it clear amulet? I think it's clear amulet. He had clear amulet flag on because I clicked earthquake versus him. Saying good in gen seven. Yeah, Joe was good. Dog Ability and, shield. Uh, there it is. Ability shield. Not clear amulet. Thank you. Ability shield. Ability, uh, clear amulet is the intimidate uh, one. Thank you. Uh, yeah, that was an experience. <clears throat> next season, I'll try... Actually, spoiler alert. Next draft league I do is actually a low-tier league. We're bringing back the P4G. So I don't know how that team's going to look. But next traditional draft that I do, I'm going to go back to my roots and try and get a team because all of Gen 9, every league I've done in Gen 9, I've been trying P4G. new stuff, but I'm not good at it. Because the way that I like been to build a long and play the time. game, I need more bulk on my team. I can't have my guys dying in one hit. I can't do it. Otherwise, I feel like I need to run not what I like to run. Now, obviously, in a situation like now where my season's gone, I just tried to make a YouTube-worthy caliber moveset on all six of my Pokemon. Like, every single one, in case something happens, it could be cool. Turns out nothing ended up being cool. That's because the season's already gone. So I'm, I'm not throwing. Like, I'm not trying to Java, just literally go back to that stream and just read the comments while we're doing stuff. You'll see the freaks. Lose. It's just like, whenever I draft a team, before the season, I try to think of all of the cool things that I can do with the team. And I've had how many L's this year that have been 5-0, 6-0, 4-0, 5-0. So it's like, I've really only got to play. I did play this game. I just played bad. I've had a lot of shit just be rough. So I feel like I haven't done a single cool thing with my team except week two. And that's not even because I won. It's just the fact that Latios countered King Lou. And that's cool. Besides that, I don't think I've done a single cool thing. I think my highlight of the season was playing Fortnite. <laughs> Much love. Check out MV. <laughs> Not the Fortnite. <laughs> hey, it's all right. Unleash the flavor. Hey, check it out if you haven't. Exclamation mark flavor. Let's see you watch the Uzi game. Now Kyle's great. Rough season for him, but he's great. Is the live chat's disabled? No, it's not. It comes. This is I. It works. When will we watch Gator? There's like two games left after this, fam. So within those. My day's been good. Thank you so much. It was a fun experience, all right? Hey, my chicken came out good. That's all that matters. Week, the Thunderclap Titans stuck to their game plan as we finally bested our high chimp back for the first time. With Ryan finally showing whose time it really is. As we come one step closer to this dream that I had before I even began making content, another roadblock awaits us, as we face not just one of the most dangerous teams in the league, but a team that I have never beaten before. Dun, it was dun, the final dun. season of the WBE, during a time of uncertainty for yours truly. With me being fresh off getting my first shot in the limelight, I was looking towards recapturing that old glory, the glory that eluded me the generation afterwards. From this failure, I told myself that if I got another shot, I'd make things right. So I drafted what I thought at that time was an unbreakable Ruby. team, as I stood across you in the first match of the season, as the both of us had something to prove. But when the dust settled, you were the better man. A match that set the stone for the rest of my season. Now Chase, you are genuinely one of the most wonderful people I know. With a heart of gold and a soul of silver. No, this doesn't mean we're getting a Johto game this year. Stop asking for I, them. I hope so. I really hope we do. I really hope we do. Just right here. I will name my, my first Pokemon Uzi. So there's no shame if I end up losing to you. But just as I said last week, I need this victory. For you are standing in the way of something that I wanted for over 11 years now. Not yet, so. And I've waited far too long to pass out on something that I may never get the chance to ever do again. So I guess there's really nothing left for me to say other than, may the best man win. Whew, that was intense. So, um, what exactly are your holiday plans for after the season? Rhyme time, baby. Rhyme, oh, please, yeah. No <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Sorry, that actually got me. That was actually funny. That was actually pretty funny. <laughs> what the fuck was my man in Brazil? 
Hey, I know. I know why he was in Brazil. Bunda Grande, that's all. I get it. I see you, buddy. That's why you go to Brazil. You know why he going to Brazil. Shoot. That's why he going to Brazil. I feel him. <laughs> that was great. All right, let's get it. Hey guys, we are back right now, ready to go against our guy Chase, who has always been one of the most downward people that I've known for such a long time. It's honestly a huge honor to have him not just come back to draft format and finally be able to get to play him as well. So yeah, he got us last time, but let us see if we're hopefully able to come out with a nice and glorious W right now. So yeah, without further ado, let's see what he got. Right, so by the looks of his team, he did not bring any Mammoth Swine, which honestly, like, is a huge sigh of relief for me. Obviously, the Corviknight existing is in itself a problem because that's pretty much the only thing stopping my uh, Azumarill from just going absolutely insane. Yeah, must have been is cool. Also, Primarina needs to die as well for Chiyu to like just come in and just pretty much start clicking. I love Brazilian food. Still, I would say very much. Muscle Band's... Oh, so you didn't want to bring the defensive guy? Yeah, Muscle Band's pretty cool. Hits really hard. I like the sashes. Plus the spin stuff. Scarf, Dragapult makes sense. Fast and everything. Good call, good call. Cobra Berry. Okay. Let's see. Manageable game. Cool team. A shift tree is also, like, really, really worrisome. But hopefully... Uh, we shift tree looks cool. ...to be able to take this thing on. And you know what? No, Metal Face is still, like, a very, uh, very fine lead, I would say. As of the immediate stealth rocks that I'm able to, like... Uh, stealth rock pressure that I'm able to put against them. So yeah, we'll see if this works out for us. Uh, works out for us or yes, not. But it it's is. not, you know. Let's see, you know, we're gonna we'll see what we'll cross that bridge when we get. So it's gonna lead off with this prima Rina as I lead off with my metal face, and that's actually pretty sick because turn one, if he allows me to chip this thing down, that is in itself like such a huge hard press so is so quick, cool. Press, turn one. Uh, this may seem like a very aggressive play, but yeah, see, like with, just with him allowing me to get this damage off on this thing, he is not going to be liking uh, uh liking the what he, he, he is not going to be liking what's gonna be <laughs> happening right now. So yeah, he's gonna click sparkling Aria, which makes sense, but in either case. Like he's he's just about down your half, so like I do very much Dancing. see myself being able to revenge this thing, uh, like revenge this thing properly with my uh, Chiyu later on. I guess this could have Aqua Jet, but yeah, like you said, you can still revenge it. So yeah, it's a it's a very good beginning, I'd say. So his sparkling Aria, his Moon Blast probably has to be Psychic and probably Flip Turn or something. I'm actually just gonna try to see mm. if I can allow me to get my rocks up. Because Aqua Jet then very good play on prep on his behalf, but no, he does not. And Stealth Rocks being up is only going to be like it's only going to bode really well for me from a long-term standpoint. As while he is going to be able to pick me off courtesy of a flip turn, the fact is, like if he brings out his Corbinite, then I'm gonna be uh, and I'm, I'm gonna very much, you know, roast him with a GU right now. So yeah, there is that. And also Stealth Rocks being up puts pressure on both his gouging fire as well as I think that's a really good start. Maybe like you said, a, that opens up pull a lot too, so this is a really, really nice start. My bad, not to cut off this uh this thing, but I'm going to go say goodnight to the wifey. So I will be back. Everybody, talk to Uzi. People were so hyped thinking it was eruption and not crush trip. Dude, if it was eruption, it'd been so much better. That sounds like real copyrightable music in the background. It should be okay. Hopefully. If it isn't, then I'm gonna get rid of it during our I'll get rid of it and hopefully we'll be okay. Put this. All right, I'll be right back. Yo, check out my flavor if you haven't, though.
Nah, udah. Let's get it. Let me click play. Everybody ready? Just want to make sure everybody's ready. I'm ready. Let's get it. Conversation for, you know, uh, click Endeavor. Because then, like, GU just comes in and clicks buttons. But with how much chip down you... No. Rocks are definitely worth it, in my opinion. I think that was a good... I don't think that is something for me to be worried too, too much about. As out comes a Corviknight. And right now, that gives me a very switch into my GU. So, yeah. That's exactly what I'm going to do mm -hmm. here now. And let us see what his response to this thing is. Yes. This Ash 100% needs to stay, though. Like, I'm, I'm not playing around with that shit, bro. So it's a 56.3% chance to Oak after Stealth Rock. But... Hey, like again, overheat is pretty much the freest play for me to click right now, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Lopo, Lolo, I don't, I'm not gonna even try to make sense of that name. I'm sorry, bro. But yeah, I think overheat into like a flamethrower should be able to kill this thing off, maybe. Never mind. Jesus, it's not. that did nothing. You, bro. What is this, Brad? <laughs> Primarina is oh, nasty. Okay, so yeah, I definitely need to get my sash around. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna allow him to be able to get that free, uh, free damage off. And I mean, like, I'm not gonna be able to get him the free. Uh, I'm not gonna allow him to break my sash. Is what I'm trying to say. Is Don Shinak is gonna be able to come out? As he's once again gonna flip, flip, flip turn, but red card is going to essentially ensure that he is not gonna Ooh. be able to get momentum on. Surprise, he flipped turn. I think a water move would have been a little bit better just because he was in torrent. Clearly, that's why flip turned it that much, right? Then, like, a good chunk. Decided. Also, with him taking that overheat damage, he is 100% going to be in range of the yeah. next two flamethrowers I'd assume. As unfortunately, he goes down into the worst possible Pokemon. Are you kidding me, bro? That's unfortunate. <laughs> that is actually pretty unfortunate. Oh, he does get the default. Yep. All this pressure that I could have been able to get on it. Uzi loses here because he. Oh, it's teleport, not baton pass. I take back. All right. Yeah, maybe I should have just put Endeavor, endeavor there. Just baton pass the negative stat. Just basically ensure that Jesus <laughs> goes absolutely ham against them. But now my Treads work is essentially going to become null and void. But in either case, you know, it's still fine, I would say. Because... I think it's still I think it's still worked out for you, Uzi, because you got the Primarina low, so like your Chi is still cooking. Because one flamethrower into an overheat should be able to take down the... Uh, it should be able to take down the Primarina of this. But yeah. Okay, he's gonna swap out again. Makes sense, makes sense. Who is he gonna go out into, though, is the question. I mean, it's obviously gonna be the Primarina. Like, it's not gonna be anything else, right? Mm -hmm. Right, so flamethrower... Yeah, that's the second man. one. She is so up. funny. I refuse to believe any timeline in which that is not able to accomplish that. So I'm actually gonna click flamethrower. I'm not gonna switch up my moves. If he has Aqua Jet, that could actually be marginally worrisome. But, he, but if he had Aqua Jet, he would've revealed that much earlier on, wouldn't he? Yeah, maybe, uh, like, obviously hindsight is 2020. But that's something for me to keep in mind for, you know, future exchanges. As down goes the Primarina right here and now. And my Sash on my GU is still intact. <laughs> and just it, it just it Sash being able to stay intact gives me so much, you know, leverage from a, uh, from a momentum standpoint. Because it ensures that, like, I have the security to not essentially get destroyed yeah. by gouging, uh, gouging Mother Toad or anything else. But yeah, let's see what good go out into. Okay, he's gonna go out into his Mere, Mero Alona, which would have to be his Alolan Knight. I mean, regular Knight. I don't know why I just keep saying Alolan. But I think it's not. I think it's pretty case, cool. Just a little. I think I may just have to go out into my Ocelot here. I'm gonna go out in my Ocelot as opposed to my, uh, as opposed to my, like, Deoxys defense, because I don't want this thing to he get He probably just down, BPs you know? anyway, right? And I could very much see him clicking Baton Pass. Or Scorching Sands. Well. Scorching Sands can be cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but he's gonna click Baton Pass. As Ship Tree is going to be a coming out right now, and it's gonna be a problem. It's definitely gonna be a problem, bro. <laughs> oh, gods. It, it, it's, too, it's too soon to say how this match is going to turn out, but... Yeah, I guess I could have, uh, I guess I could have just stayed in and clicked Dark Pulse, but again, I need the Sash, no matter what. So, like, me just expecting him to, you know, click, you know, uh... Baton pass over something like Scorching Sands is something I don't think was, you know, much of a, a much worth it. I okay, agree. Go into... Corby. Okay. Wait, hold on a second. If you let me, if you let me have this, Sumeril just goes stupid against you. I'm going to play Tower right now. Yeah. Scarf, play Tower in the modest side. It's going to come up. And we're going to be able to knock out the Corby Knight. And I think with this... I think Chase should have went that and then doubled out. Like, I think you did your best play, but I think Chase should have went that and then doubled into his, uh... Into his, uh... Gouging Fire. That, that just like massively opens up my uh, massively opens. That was my, really like, good for you. Yeah, Ozzy looks okay. stupid good so, now. So far, we're in a pretty decent spot. I like right the now, trick like, room. Uh, the options into Ozzy, uh, really cool tech. But I do think that a player off into a bulldozer should hypothetically be able to knock this thing out. Unless, of course, you know I'm grossly underestimating its power. But out comes Ichigo, which would have to be his shift tree. Yes. So Dragon Ball being alive is absolutely a necessity. That goes without saying, because that's my answer to plus one dodging fire. So I think I may just be forced to go out into my Okie Dokie here, guys. As re as regrettable as it is. All right, Okie Dokie, you're gonna have to come out. Don't have like fucking. Power is so cool. Don't have extra sensory, bro. We good to be honest. Like it's really hard to tell. Huge power to do. Right. So he's actually gonna terrestrialize. But what no is he going to terrestrialize into is a question. He's terrible. Ooh. Ooh. That's not good. Terrorblast. But I'm surprised he would go for that. Okay, never mind. Sucker Punch fails. Sucker Punch fails for him, which is pretty sick. Oh, I, right I don't now, think he should have. I have to go. I don't think he should have suckered there. Cause you tear a ground, right? So you out of the flame. 
Ooh, I think he, he should have definitely attacked a little differently. Terra Blast ground is going to come up, but I have a lot of speed investment. Like even Terra Blast ground would have been good. Take this, take this, take this, take this. There we go. We're going to actually be able to survive that. And Huge turn. Armor, which is literally the best case scenario Huge for us. Huge turn, because, oh yeah. God, we're not going to have to even rely on that. Close combat is going to be able to straight up knock this thing out into next week. And just like that, a massive problem against that is finally ah. going to get neutralized. Holy shit. Okay. Yeah. I think the end game is very much, you know, uh, the end game is very much coming, but I still need to make sure I play my cards right. <laughs> what the off? Who the hell are you? Okay, as Venusaur. out comes a Venusaur, which makes so much sense, right? I'm gonna let him have this though. I'm gonna let him have this. Yeah, you I, don't under go no circumstance do I want to give this thing the free turn. Uh, give, give this thing the free turns. So I'm just gonna click outrage because that's my 100% accurate move. And whatever he wants to click for, I should click. It click should very much in theory be hypothetically okay, I would imagine. Yeah, you always but have Chi in the back anyway. Coming, guys. But, again, but the like, Oxus should live like fire and so on, you can't necessarily Ooh. Ooh. Hatch, as he's gonna go for rope, makes sense. As, yeah, I'm not gonna click Gunshot Rob. Fuck that. Okay, that does a pretty respectable that Oh, okay, buddy. I see you. I mean, worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, even if he like tries to synthesize and all that kind of stuff. Never mind, he clicks Weather Ball. Okay. If you want to click Weather Ball, that's fine by me. Because what I can do right now is potentially go out into my Chi Yu, I think. Or alternatively, I could just go out into my Dawn Snack. I'd rather keep my Sash alive just so that, you know, that Gouging Fire does not get out of hand, you know? Yeah. yeah. It doesn't kill. It does not kill me by any means. So, I'm actually just going to go out my Deoxys Defense. I'm going to set up a Trick Room. And One hopefully, shell smash, Marvin. Be able to position myself in a way where Ice Spinner is going to be able to pick you up. Because your final uh, cause your final set of Pokemon... Because your final set of Pokemon is a, a, is a regular Nine Tails, a Gouging Fire, and this. Trick Room, I'm going to need you to come, out, come through for me right here now. Oh, shoot! <laughs> okay, buddy. That's nice. That is marginally worrisome. Because I'm not sure if, uh, because I'm not sure if, like, this, this thing is, I mean, like, Nightshade... You shell smash, up. Marvin. But, no, very good prep on his behalf, though. Nah, I always break. It's going to you, but it's going to break you, though, is the question. Okay, yeah. it's going to break your substitute. That is a huge relief, guys. Holy shit. <laughs> that is a huge relief, through and through, as the sun is going to fade for him here and now. It's Sludge Bomb, Weather Ball. And right now, I think what I want to do more than anything is to keep this thing low for Ice Spinner from Azumarill, from Azumarill to kill, uh, to pick you off. So, actually, going to put Nightshade again. He's gonna swap out though, but into who though is a question. Regardless of who he wants to go into though, literally getting like insane damage. Yeah, so sun resets. That is, not, that is in itself, you know, not the worst. Yeah, thing it always breaks up. Mm -hmm. It's not a, it's not a one on one HP. So it's gonna help put this thing in range of a play rough into a, into an art power. I mean, into a, into a bulldoze. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so good. Your Ozzy is looking crazy. Is by any means, bad. Okay, I'm gonna actually just quick recover first of all, because I outspeed you. I'm gonna be able to outspeed you. Keep this thing healthy. Oh, get some spikes, get Marvin. Room, then, like that just makes things spikes so are always easier good. for me, right? Okay. This is go gouging cool. fire now. Maybe I should have teleport. Fuego Leon. Mm -hmm. Teleport would have been better for sure. It's gonna be though, speed though. Makes sense. Gouging fire is like not is not to be trifled with ever. Yeah, maybe I should have teleport. That was probably that was uh, a very likely a choke. But in either case, I'm gonna click teleport. Yeah, I'm gonna click teleport. He's gonna click heat crash though. Okay, he's not gonna set up just yet. As Oof. contact is still gonna Jesus be Christ. Let's fucking go. Bandit is crazy. And unfortunately, I will likely not be able to set up a trick room anymore, guys. But like, that's way better than getting fucking destroyed by the, by this thing, you know? Okay. So in either case, I think I can just no, not yet. Play it be to actually just go out in my Addison, guys. Yeah, I'm actually just gonna go out in my Addison because as questionable of a play that this may end up being, the fact of the matter is, you get the chip. Like, you're not gonna set up on me. If that's what you're wondering, bro. I'm not letting you do that. Hell no. And also, just being able to chip this thing down is going to bode really, really well. Is he going to two a KO? But he's going to swap out the Huh. Yeah, yeah this may... It, I'm, I'm very much likely, you know, overcomplicating things. Because his Venusaur is still like... Oh my god, yeah. The endgame is not looking that too hard, sadly. But, hold on a second. With you being at minus one, though, and me bulldozing... Yeah, I'm going to get Rex for Gouging Fire. You. Yeah, Chiyu and Tyrion should be able to outspeed you, I think. Chiyu does not outspeed you. But, oh, shysta. I think I can go out in my Dawn Shnack, though. Yeah, I think that may just be my play, actually. So his Substitute... His Jiga Drain. I guess Paul always outspeeds though. And another move that I'm not exactly sure, to be honest. But I'm gonna on my Don here. But oh, uh, I forgot like, about uh, growth. The end game is very much becoming a bit more complex because I very much enabled him to do that because I prior prioritize getting my. Yeah, I think I, I think they should have. Uh, you know? I think but Chase should have just. It's still fine, I would say, because while he is going. This is going crazy ball, though. That is still not the end of the world. That is still not the end of the world, and I say that because I. No, I'm going to just kill. Should be able to pick you up with my Chiyu. and combined with my Chiyu and Addison, combined with my Addison and my Ocelot, I think there is a possibility of me winning this one out. Shady Gator last. Mm -hmm. Okay, so your substitute, Giga Drain, Sludge Bomb, and Weather Ball. Okay, so you're not even Art Power, to be honest. Yeah, you're not even Art Power. So, that's fine, I think. The Star Pulse kill goes the question. Yeah, I'll just fire I don't get Marvin. any turn wrong here, guys. What up, bro? 49.4 and 58.5. Yeah, you're, you're, you're dying. You are not living this rough. Nice. <laughs> what a scary endgame. Strong Definitely Dark a scary Pulse. Endgame, and one that I think I'm partially responsible for. But, 
that's just another learning experience for me to consider, like, for the future. So yeah. Next pop up though. Okay, my sash stays intact. And with my and with me actually clicking Dark Pulse, he goes out in full Oh, that's I, big. I, I completely butchered that pronunciation. I'm so sorry, guys. But yeah, he's gonna go out into his gouging fire, and that's fine. Because even if your speed is heightened, yeah, that's a 2 KO on you, bro. Yeah. Once it being a 2 KO on you is such a massive, it's such a massive merit. Cool, cool, cool. He's not gonna be able to set up then. He's pretty sick. He's gonna click Heat Crash. As Gouging Fire is is not gonna break me down to my stash, but come damn near close towards it. This thing is not a real Pokemon. But thankfully, Timid Chiyu is gonna Dude, come Gouging Fire now. is so freaking good. Now his good. final two Pokemon is a very chip down, uh, 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 chip down regular Nine Tails, and a Venusaur face. Mhm. Mm He's gonna go out in his Blood Rough. And here, the unfortunate thing is that I'm not even sure if Shadow Ball kills. Okay, so he, his son will end after this turn, and because his son will end after this turn, he will be outsped by my Chiyu, right? He will be outsped by my Chiyu. So I think actually my play right now is to sack off my Addison. Because if he allows me to, if, if, if I sack this thing off, I can go on in my rat afterwards, revenge with a dark pulse, and then end the game. Uh, end the game with my uh, with my dragon pulse. Okay, okay, yeah, I think that's my okay, route. Okay, I can see it. That's my way of basically guaranteeing myself this victory right He's here. He's not Giga Drain, Unless, so... Unless, of course, you have, No, you don't have Quick Attack. You can all your formals. You, you ain't gaslighting me, bro. I don't know. Is that Quick Slash Makes sense, makes sense. As that is going to straight up one Jeez, bro. Oh, uh, crit. Up, unfortunately. Like, damn, in one? Like, like damn, Venusaur. Calm but, down, buddy. It's kind of irrelevant. Because your son is now gone. And because your son is now gone, I can go out into my GU, revenge you with a Dark Pulse, and end this game with my Dragon Pulse. So yeah, this match was very I mean, it's wire. more about winning for him luck, you know, than the as well differential as game, but we He's very trying to ensure it. Out with the what up, Izzy? I was scared out of my mind, guys, because Ch Chase's team is fucking mental. Chase's team is straight up mental in so many ways. <laughs> but yeah. I mean, he uh, opened up for the Flamethrower sweep right now. Mero Leona. I don't even know what that name means, but hey, uh, respect it. As Dark Pulse is going to come off, it's, it's unfortunately going to snag a crit, which may or may not have mattered. If it did, then I'm sorry, bro. But chances, but like I very yeah, it's about basically came down chipping you in range for a flamethrower from my uh, modest dragapult. And I think you would have been in range because dragapult does a bajillion to you. But also, again, you have four moves. You have you have you, doing, but... you have giga drain, you have sludge bomb, and you have weather ball. Go so you know, so It could have knock off too. Hacks didn't matter that much in the grand team of things. But in either case, I'm gonna click dark pulse. Wrath is gonna thankfully be able to come through us, come through for us big time on this one. And right now, I should be able to end this game with my modest yep, dragapult. black clover. As while he will be able to recover a decent chunk of health courtesy of the black sludge, that is unfortunately not going to help him much in the grand team of things because the sun is against yeah, him. Yeah, Venusaur is modest. That was good. I like uh, I like. And just like that, ladies text. and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all kinds, the. Thunderclad Titans are gonna be able to come through with a very, very narrow 1 0 victory. Holy shit, GG to my guy Chase. That was fucking mental. That was a very close game because, like, Chase's team is generally cooked, generally, like, cooked, and I mean, really, really well done in a lot of ways. And nice job, that I was able to, you know, play my end game right to be able to snag myself a victory there. But yeah, man, uh, with this, we are now officially 6 and 1 here and now, and I believe we should have the t we should be able to uh, have the liberty to being able to choose our opponents. But yeah, with this, the Thunderclad Titans are now officially 6 and 1 right now. We got one last opponent left, and his name is Joseph Fontaine Alexander Indovino Jesus Hamilton Anthony. Christ. And I'm very much looking forward to facing him with that. So yeah, GG to you, my guy Chase. Please check his channel out, guys. He's a fucking amazing human being, genuinely through and through. And yeah, if you enjoyed this in any way, please do drop a like. My name is Dewsy Gunner. Thank you very much for watching. Have yourselves a glorious day, and I shall most certainly see you all on the flip side. Whoosh. Bro, that's not my name. All right, let's watch Leo versus Chimpact. Poor Leo. I think Leo was in an accident, like a car accident last week. So, hope he's doing all right. All right. Yeah, I didn't check it out, by the way. I have everybody's, I have the playlist down below. Please go check out and show everybody some love. Cobaberry, great tusk to deal with that. I love that. Zathos is obviously extremely good here. This is I love the Rocky Helmet Fizz Def Appleton for Arcanine. Looks very, very this is a strong matchup. I'm excited. I'm excited. <sighs> yeah, buzzy YouTube, aka what's up, YouTube? Uh, so hopefully we can win here. We are facing Chimp. Chimp hacked a multiple time draft league champion, if I'm not mistaken. He brought just about everything I was expecting. He has both of his. Yeah, both um, of these have, both of these players have won uh, multiple draft leagues. Terra captains. Uh, yeah, he got the top four. I was expecting everything but Driplim and a River Room. I thought he might bring one, but not both. So this is gonna be a little tough, guys. I need the apple to prepare for this match then. Uh, last week, but there is no excuse. There is no excuse. We're here to hopefully get a dub. Nah, I definitely. honestly think my best lead is going to be Zapdos. Yeah, Zapdos looks, like looks pair up really well against everything. That is not Arcanine. a potential lead of Hisuian Arcanine. All right, I'm nervous. I'm excited. I'm anxious. If we can win this match, ladies and gentlemen, we guarantee playoffs. If we lose, we fall to a four and three, which uh, hopefully will not be the case. Mm. Oh, yeah, okay, I'm super nervous. Both of them, actually. I haven't played Chimpact in forever. But he's been doing pretty well this season. 
as Drift Blissey. Oh, this is great. Great lead. Later, Jolo. So immediately, I always think it's Drift Blip, not Drift Blip. Uh, I just kind of want to U-turn here, right? Yeah, he could Terra. This thing is Terra flying. He doesn't really have good switches for this, but I guess you don't want to let Iron Hands in. Remember, the Steel Fire Grass. Does he Terra immediately? Is the question. He does not. Scream. Good U turn, good momentum. You get in Tinkaton now. We do a nice 10%, it looks like. Yeah, so definitely max HP on this thing. I think I can just bring in my. Classic Tinkaton. Leo. Stealth Rock Thunder Wave Bulldoze stuff. I just want to get up rocks, I think. Flare Boost would be fire. As he turns out to have the leftovers. Uh, this could just be really, really problematic with um with what it could be running. He could have a lot of support moves. Remember in Season 1, we had Screamtail. I actually really liked it. I really, really liked it. I just don't think I drafted well around it. And Chimp is a very creative and uh, skillful player, so I know he's going to use it very well. So let's see what this thing is running. My concern is that he Thunder Waves immediately. I don't think he can risk like that concern. though. I really don't. He's so weak but to bundle. But if I able to get Brox, that's amazing. I also could have gone for Thunder Wave. Yeah, really Chimp, Chimp, to, Chimp can't afford. It was sitting at what, like 96%? Oh. That's a raw switch on Chimp's part. So the good thing about this is that I, I do outspeed. The problem is, is that I just die. Um, go ahead, I really go, want to go into my... Go Appleton. Appleton. I, yeah, go Appleton. In all honesty. Do it. I'm trying to see. Yeah, Appleton should be a solid switch in here. Oh, I'm trying to see this damage. I mean, that could be a giant issue, actually. Shoot. I'm oh, trying to see this damage. damage. Oh, no, I wish I was Terra Steel instead of Fairy. Oh, he does Flare Blitz. Okay, we should chew this. That did nothing. Nothing. Oh, God. That actually did nothing. Okay, so it looks like he's Jolly. Looks like he is indeed Jolly. I could Earthquake here. A Head Smash will not knock us out. This mod is actually insane into this team. Free, I think so. Is Dragon Tail getting damage off on Even this? Even Apple Acid. Things around is not the worst thing ever. I, I kind of like, like Dragon Tail. I'm gonna Dragon Tail here. He probably goes Torn, right? That's a little bad because if he does Head Smash, shoot, I probably shouldn't have. Uh, I should have. I should have Earthquake maybe. I'm hoping he thinks that we will just stay in though and go for recovery to see what he wants. Yeah, Appleton does get Earthquake. So he does switch. Off. How much Head Smash like do? 85. Like 200 damage to something, based on the Flare Blitz Thick Fat damage. Oh, great switch! Great switch on the Dragon Tail. I guess he's gonna wish darn it. forever. Darn it, darn it, darn it. He got me there. He got us there, okay. I agree I ultimate hard into Zapdos. He hasn't been trying to and use it as a sweeper. the off chance that he does maybe try and Thunder Wave. I think he could just go for rocks. I don't think Tinkaton is actually that bad here. If he does double, good play on his end, but doesn't look like he did. So he could just go for his own rocks here. If I had gone for Earthquake there, that would've been great. That would've been great, but it's fine. He does get up his own rocks, okay. Nice. So now the turns actually capitalize on it. Pretty even so far. We do have the bulldoze. I will say though that Tinkaton being in with turn. rocks up already actually. Thunder makes Wave, nice. I really want to go for. Play rough also is not bad because we can see what this thing wants to do. But I am pretty sure that this is just rocking max HP. I wouldn't we'll go mad if we did. Not on this mon. This mon could have Encore, Thunder Wave. I like Thunder Wave as well, honestly. I'm going to Thunder Wave instead. So he does switch. Whatever comes in is getting is T Wave. room or is it? Oh, yes! Ooh, please, huge, please, 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 Terra. Please. This will be great, this will be great, this will be great. Come on. We go for the Thunder Wave. We hit, ladies and gentlemen. That's dope. Very big. That is great, that is great. I don't know what this thing wants to do to me. I guess Zapdos I like is always Zapdos free, is yeah. Yeah. I like how Leo's playing so right now. He's not boots. I do. He's not paralyzed. I really like how Leo's playing. And also, Rock's going up, like Driftling coming in at half mm. next uh, time. Heat wave. I mean, so Hurricane is a middle ground play here. Because he could Terra. And Willow again on my U-turn. I agree. Hurricane is still going to do damage, though, to something. So he does switch. He's at 75. Also, Screamtail coming in is always scary. Not, he tried to oh, catch come on, baby, come on, charge. We hit. Yes, we do land. That Big land. Jeez, wow. bro. I did way more than I expected. I did a lot. Wow. Smart. Don't risk it. Uh, I'm U turning though. I'm Probably not go scream tail. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did so much. That hurricane did way more than I expected. I, I think this might just be offensive, maybe? Yeah, because after rocks, uh, depending on rolls, there's a chance I could 2 a KO him here, but I don't really want to risk that right now. 
I really don't want to risk that currently. Yeah, it has to be fast. I agree. But he's at 45. So we U-turn out of there. There you go. We do a nice there. extra 2%. Literally. <laughs> I think that was 2%. I guess this. Can I great tusk here? I think I can just great tusk here. I guess tusk is relatively free. Like, uh, like ice, punch. ice punch isn't gonna do much. He does ice punch. That did a lot. That did way, way more than I thought. Oh man, I do not like that at all. Uh, I think I need to earthquake here, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, there's no point. Like, wraps me. He's just gonna go scream tail and get yeah, rid of it, right? Max attack. Jeez. Uh, I, I just got a close combat here. I mean, earthquake. He's at 45. This should drop. Sugar? Yes. None. Okay, good. Down goes the hands. All right, this is going really well that for Leo right now. Unfortunately, I think puts us in range of where we're going to get knocked out. This still sounds right normal. Now. Even through our Cobra. He still has zap those, though. You know what? I'm going to risk it. We can live. We can actually live this. Ice Spinner could knock him out. If this KOs, this is huge. Ice Spinner could knock him out here, and I think I'm fine with taking this trade. Because yeah. he can expect us to switch, so I'm going to Spinner here. Oh, we tank this! Oh, you definitely take the We live! Let's go! Chip Let's gotta, go! You gotta run that hurricane. We're gonna some really good damage here. Come on, come on, drop, drop, drop! No! Ah! Uh, ooh! Oh! Salad Berry! Wow, that could have been crazy late game. So he's gonna knock us out. like Icy Wind, Nasty Plot. <laughs> Thank you, TK. Plus one speed. Nice, Chrome. I can bring a ticket ton here. Hope work was good, buddy. Uh, Zapdos is a safe switch. Zapdos is my best switch. I really want a U-turn. I really want to go for the U-turn. Damn, dude, he's gonna be up to like 44% coming back here. I mean, he doesn't even have discharge switches, though. I, I would really just want to go for U-turn expecting the... I would just discharge. Because he can literally just switch here. But like... Uh, discharge is fine. Yeah, it's free. Oh, no, okay, so he stays in. Yeah. He gives us a turn. And we get the static. <laughs> well, I mean, not that it matters, I guess. Yeah. Nah, probably not. Right, good thing oh, yeah, yeah, defensive, yeah. Dude, that rubber room. Rubber room could yeah, be a problem. Digitally, yeah. I think Chimp is going for the the, the Rubber Room end game because especially with great that's why he like focused on uh, <sighs> Great Tusk there. I'm worried about what this is gonna do. So I'm gonna roost. Wish, okay. It was man, hope you Hey, thank you, Chrome. Appreciate that. Mine was pretty good. Rocks. We uh So he's got Wish Rocks. You can pass a wish to the Arcanine. Had some good games he's watching. Some really good games, honestly. Some fire attacks and we just you know, uh, darn it, and because wrapping up, we got we this game boots, in one more. Rocks up. I think discharge is fine here. Just see what he wants to do. As he goes for the gleam, okay. Yeah, there's nothing. Damn, if this gets paired, it's oh, over. Oh, and we get the para. Bro. And we get the para. So that's good for us, actually. That's really good for us. I kind of just want to roost here. He kind of still struggles killing here, this mon, though. I will, I will be honest. Like, uh, I can try to roost and hope he's going to be big for him. And then I can see what he wants to do. He it's definitely struggles killing this mon. He doesn't have gigats and hammer, so. But I can U-turn here now. Even if he switches into something like Arcanine, we'll gain momentum. Okay, so he does switch. Arcanine, sir, Arc, sir, Vine. Oh, okay. I'm okay with this, I'm okay with this. Yeah, because Appleton could just come out and not care. And recover, honestly. Or he can go Bundilo. Bring in Iron Bundle. I'm gonna flip turn because I'm scared to this, miss Hydro Pump. This could be Scarf. Uh, if he is Scarf, I die. Oh wow, I did not expect. Oh no. Oh my god. Up. Oh my god. Oh my god. And Leo and Chipback knows because he saw him not take Stealth Rock damage. Oh my god. Bro. Oh, I messed up. I actually thought that just won because of the uh, the taunt. Bro. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. I messed up. Oh man, I messed up really bad. That was a big turn. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is, bad. This is, bad. This is really bad. Bro, that's actually insane. Yeah, that was a rough turn. This is bad. They are, bro. Huge. That's zero. The fuck? That doesn't oh, kill. Dude, my next play rough doesn't knock him out, does it? I'm surprised it didn't go like Zapdos, but I okay, guess guys, this, like is, this is a little bad now. This might have just got really, really, really bad. This might have just got really bad. Oh, he believes in the Gigaton Hammer? Um, okay, let's see. No? Oh, he just thinks, he just thinks it might KO. Interesting. I can Appleton here. Appleton still looks crazy. Yeah. 
I mean, he could. What Zapdos? What do I need Zapdos for? Because he could. He, if he head smash into Arcanine into, uh, into Appleton, it's actually crazy. It's actually like tough. I do think Manaphy wins well, Zapdos though. Zapdos also, there's a static chance. So here he's got a. He might either Flare Blitz or he'll head smash, predicting sure. me to bring in Appleton. I don't believe so. Yeah. I want to say we can still win this. Maybe we can still maybe win this. Same with, TK with Manaphy. That Rever Room is a giant problem. That Rever Room is a massive, massive problem. He does Blitz. Oh, he can we get live. statics here too. That's two chances for static. Driplin does not get Roost. It gets Shrimp Stab though. I U turn here in case he switches. There's a static chance. No static. Darn it. Damn. Manaphy time, buddy. If I bring in Appleton, he sacks off. Is it Manaphy free? I guess he's trying to save it uh, I can for bring the Rever Room. Manaphy. Dude, dude, Rever Room looks insane right now. Tail Glow. Terra Grass Rever Room looks stupid. Try and tail go here with Manaphy. Like with the para now on as well, you just click Skull forever. Okay, a plus three, we two a KO, that's great. Manaphy looks really good. Uh, wait, if this is like, depending on Spadef investment, plus three should two a KO this. Big damage? No! Darn it, dude! No! I mean, this is still a worthy trade oh, because lose. I think this is the only thing stopping Appleton. I think we might have lost. I think this is still the, the best trade for you. Because this thing walls Appleton, right? <laughs> oh, I really messed up. I messed up. I messed up by stacking off Iron Bundle like that. And then this thing... Yeah, I, spark, think, spark I think it's worth so good. Ooh, Paris big. He actually could have gotten off a wish. And now this is going to get out of range. Now I don't do a KO. Well, you can't wish now. This really sucks. I hate Paralyzed Mons fighting down each other. Can we still win this? Can we still win this? Yeah, this is, this is low-key really good. He has more Pokemon than we do, and I think I honestly think that the Arcanine wins. Arcanine plus Reverend just wins. I don't yeah. think it could be Appleton. Dude, and the fact that this is Thunder Wave 2. I really thought we had this one. Yeah, I guess it depends on the Terra. Reverend does look stupid good if it has Terra. Oh, well. It, it's been a good back and forth game, right? I agree. I agree. Is there, when they don't be moving. Oh, you gotta hit him with the Endure. We can show him the tech. Hit him with the Endure. If we don't get paired, I can get another kill. That would be huge, actually. If we don't yeah. get paired, I can get another KO. Yeah, because this also forces this also forces a KO. And he's hitting all these head smashes, man. He's hitting them all too. So he, he has to sack Driftlin here. On. Come on, Manaphy, please. Come on, Manaphy, come on. If we can get another KO, that's gonna be huge. That'll put us in a slightly better position. Yeah, being so up 3-2 is something. crazy. Yes! Oh! Please, please! Yes! Oh, we didn't get paired at least. Wait, do you know if you got paired or not? So he sacks the Driftlin, that's fine. That's big, yeah. That's huge. Oh, he still has freaking Reverum, dude. But he can't go Reverum. Well, I mean, he can, but he can't set up know, on guys. you. I don't know, I don't know. I don't think we win. I don't think we win. I have to scald here. Does it have spike? Being, he definitely should just knock us out, though. Yeah, Terra Blast. I think he's Grass. The question is, what Terra is he? That's the question right now. It's, definitely, gr it's definitely Grass. Do I just Thunder Wave this? Yeah, you always do. <laughs> do I Bulldoze? No, you Thunder Wave. I think I Thunder Wave. Always. In case he is Terra Fire. Yeah, it literally is close. And yeah, everything. I, think I just Thunder Wave. He could be Terra Fire, Terra Blast, which in that case we just get obliterated, I think. I mean, he'd run Terra Flare, I think. Yeah, we just die. If he's Terra Fire, we just drop. If he's Terra Steel, we can maybe live? Yeah, we do live. Actually, doesn't Grass just win if it's Shift Gears? So we land the Thunder Wave. He did a Terra. Does he get fully paired, though? We'll see. Let's see. High horsepower, pops a Shaka. Oh! He doesn't know we're Shaka! Wait, that's huge! Okay, here. Boy, why didn't you Terra? Chebek, why are you not terrestrializing? Are you gonna try to get Wex? Yeah, yeah, I will. Alright, Bulldoze next turn. No, he wins with Head Smash. Darn it, dude, does he really win with Head Smash? Why hasn't, why hasn't he Terra? I think Terra? he just wins with Head Smash. Even if it's Terra Fire, this uh, is still I mean, good. I just, okay, I guess I gotta bank on him missing the Head Smash. That's like the only thing I can do. But that's what it comes down to. I guess he thinks I, Gigas, I think and Hammer, Gigas and Hammer. Wait, Gigas and Hammer wouldn't even do that much. Man, this has been such a back and forth game, guys. Oh my lord. I think Chimp threw. Oh, he's gonna tear. Okay. It's grass. See, right? and I thought about going for play rough too. I thought about going for the play rough. Yeah, it's grass. He and the funny thing is, at minus three, he probably still outspeeds uh, Appleton. So is there just a way I live another hit? Oh man, that's huge. That might that's actually be big. really huge. Yo, that might actually just win the game too. Guys, that might have been really huge. Yeah, he most likely didn't think about it. I just think play coming grass is just worth. Down it goes. 
Damn. Okay. It's just Arcanine, guys. Oh, man. Yo. Man, 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 man. Do I hard into Appleton so he drops to Rocky Helmet? Do I win? Do I win? I don't know. Bro. The thing is, is that if he close combats, actually, no, even if he close combats, hold on, I think I can just switch into Appleton on any hit he goes for, right? Yeah, and you win the game. 100%. I'm gonna see him. I'm gonna see him see what he does. Wait, what? He what? has smashes. Now if he crits you, he wins. Leo, no! If if Head Smash crits him, he literally wins the game now. Bro, you had the play! It all comes down to this. It all comes down to this. Is Apple Acid 100 accuracy? It is. We're gonna click Apple Acid, guys. He's got one more Head Smash! And he missed! If we hit, we go to playoffs! We hit! This should drop! And we win! Oh if man, what a game! It's 100% accurate. What a game! Oh man. <laughs> that was Good a game crazy game. Wow, that I was love intense. Leo's reactions. That was intense. Good game. We are now 5-2, and two, and I'm like 95% sure we clinched playoff, guys. Yeah, he's in playoffs. Oh wow, I was not expecting. Okay, I gotta, I was, oh, I gotta calm down. Good game to Chimp. Question of the day. Guys, leave a like, leave a comment. Let's go! Let's go! I think we made playoffs, guys. This is great. This is such an amazing turnaround from Season 1. Oh, definitely check out Chimp. That was an amazing game. And that being said, I will see you all. I'll see you all next week for the final I'm week of the regular like... season and then possibly playoffs. So thank you all for watching. Later, <laughs> later, later, everybody. That was good. I uh, definitely um, think Chimp Act should have teared because even with Gigits and Hammer, a player of it's still pretty weak uh, overall. Obviously, Paras are big, but that was a good game. Crit would have been crazy though, Dan. All right, last game. All right, we're back for the retirement. From have, I haven't watched Gator in a while. Retired. On the stream. Professional so. Pokemon Battle. Retired. Don't forget that part. Retired. Because I'm undefeated. Doesn't mean I'm good. All right, I'm playing against uh, Shady Penguin this week. Hey, whoever picked uh, up my uh, yeah, my so moon milk just, just now, I appreciate you. Team building thingy. Thank you. Uh, I so think someone just got a Draco shaker too. Thank you. He has this Pokemon called Sneasler, which is like this is a big like this is yeah. Scam still makes playoffs for sure. Scam artist. Like why why does this thing have a move that has like fifty percent chance to do all this like random stuff? Yeah, what's going on here? And anyway, besides that, he has like the classic. This is the classic Lando T Road Wash. So we brought Dawn Fan Max Fence to. Try to check the. Landers. I watch Shady Side all the time, bro. Even though, I'm gonna watch Gators. Yeah, it, it doesn't have any reliable recovery, so yeah. Uh, Max Bedef, Golden Go. If you know, we literally here, watch it all the time. Um, I am minus special attack nature. Why? Because I'm dumb and I didn't check anything. I I quickly whipped this up and and told Mr. Poke Game, please, Janet, sir, and <laughs> then that was that. Oh, yeah. so somehow this ended up being careful nature. No. And I can't change it because I'm recording this after the fact. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> it, it's just a... It's, it's, steel. It's, it's a very secret tech. You would understand. You would understand. All right. Uh, this thing's also Max Medef Salt Vest uh, to try to it's steel tear. help check things like uh, Mag Mortar. Dude, Zone I hope that or, special attack drop actually you know, matters. <laughs> uh, his Mag Mortar can tear into fairy type, so it's not the best check, but yeah. Uh, yeah, no worries. Good old reliable specs when we got... I feel like yeah, like I typically I typically do watch this side. It's been basically this. So I, I, this, I don't this think I've seen Gator side in like weeks. It is not balanced. Uh, we're fairy type. Yeah, his fairy resist is mag mortar, and the second he terra types, he doesn't have one. So yeah. Uh, this with boots, modest max damage. Modest. Just four attacks. U turn. Probably a mistake. This should probably be an attack. Like why would I U turn if this thing is if this thing's in it? It should be probably later, Marvin. Damage. Yeah. Um. And yeah, modest max special attack damage. No explanation needed there. Standard okay. gated. I'm playing. That's where I'm playing my week seven game before my week six game. Oh yeah, he did. Are, like backwards. I like the matchup. I think it's really even. Like Rotom goes crazy. I actually think these two are really strong into this though. Okay. Dual screens for like Mag Mortar could be scary Rumors though. Rotom, Gen 5, Ace Elf. Yeah, Kelly looks nasty oh, here. Okay, and Mag, Mag Mortar. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, that Ace Elf looks like a humongous problem. Also, yep, because they had done the Wi Fi versus Leo, but then Leo wasn't able to make it, and then <coughs> things messed up, etc. etc. Okay, Lenners is so small in preview, like actually, right? It's so tiny compared to all the other mods. Maybe leave no way, Rotom Wash is bigger than Landers. Or oh, Whimsicott. Yeah, 
Dude, it is like negative 50 degrees outside. Like, not actually, but my toes are so cold. <clears throat> it does look like a plushie. Got my water with me, gotta stay hydrated. Is my neck muted? No. Well, that's not good. Oh, very good lead. We just lead off of that? <laughs> I guess you could just U-turn here safely. Do I get swept? You said do I get swept. Like if this does go for U-turn, that's big too, especially if it gets poison touch. I don't know if it's set up oh. though. Or just dire claws immediately. Stuff too. This is weather. It's fake out. Oh, he does get the poison yeah. touch, so damn. So guaranteed sturdy. Broken. That's really big. Uh, okay. I think he's just been liking this like four. Why not go gold? That's not good. I like poison. Well, this gives rocks, plus it doesn't risk, like, Shadow Claw. My pawns, I wonder if it's, like, pure anti-lead. I guess you just U-turn here, right? That actually kind of suck, if that is the case. I love Dawn Fam. One of the most annoying mm -hmm. ones to break. Wait, did he not bring a move on Sneasler for Golden Go? Interesting. The free Rotom. Oh, uh, okay. We're watching Shady's game right now. Ugh. Oh, let me, let me, my bad. I need to be a um, professional commentator. I almost forgot. Yeah, so he poisoned me and he attacked me and I'm gonna click Stealth Rock. Thank you. Stay tuned for next time. Just good switches by Shady so far. Just good turns all around. Does Rotom even learn Defog? No. Honestly, we could have seen a U-turn turn one as well. I'm also statist. <laughs> so he'll probably just bolt switch because I have no business being in. Um, if I go into Windsor College, Who do I want to see least in playoffs? I'm going to go into and do a lot of damage. I guess I can go into this thing and then just go into Landorus. And. Uh, start I this. don't care. I'm, I'm happy with anybody making playoffs, really. Don't really have another play, unfortunately, besides going to this and having go Landorus. I do. I want to see Shady win the entire league, though, personally. Like every single one of Pokemon get U-turn was going Like I really want to see Shady win the entire league. This goes Roger Pump. Nice miss, nice miss. You take those, you take those. Ooh, that's a big miss. A little bit of chip goes a long uh, way for Sneasler. Any chance you release a Drake Ice Shaker? Uh, in the future, we were we actually have a design already. We just went with this one first. So yeah, oh, heavy mind. I have like no speed on this. That's actually okay. Did it is zero as well? Also did not, oh, pump nice pump hitting would have been great. What's Nexus record? I think he's three and four after this week. Like, I did Any playoff games been played? No, we just finished our week eights today. Actually, well, some people today. Uh, also, I just realized. <laughs> Some people, <laughs> most people by Sunday, but some people by Sunday. I carry around building. I'm pretty sure my Golden Goat is minus special attack nature. <laughs> yeah, he just did. Yeah, that Shadow Ball did nothing. That's the least I've ever I seen Golden Goat Shadow Ball do. Attack. I think I put minus special attack. Hey. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk good. about I'll talk about the standings and playoffs. I'll talk about the playoff That's picture. That's not good. That's not good. Oh no. Use the updated Oops. Embor waffle. Oh god. Or is it the updated Samurai? Use the updated Samurai. <clears throat> I'll talk about the playoff picture after this game. This is a terrible Pokemon. A minus special attack nature on my Golden Go. I have AV this. I don't know what his Terra is. Also, he's not. Whatchamacallit? He's not Boots. Bro, I really just brought. Whatever, man. Does he go for T Boy here? Anymore. I can't. Just get it over with. Just just pummel, just pummel me. Ooh, big. That's Does it burn? Round. He was trying to. He was trying to break the uh, the iron, <coughs> the iron moth. Yeah, this can be Terra Fairy. That did zero. Which is, um, yeah, he did 50. I guess you weaken this though, because this is great for Azov looks really good if it's Nasty Plot. He's not Specs. Like actually insane if it's Nasty Plot. He goes Terra Fairy right now. And he's going to Terra Blast. Terra Type Fairy. You definitely live though. It'll do a lot. I guess I can scout for it. Good scout. And then you get the sludge wave off. Very good scout. <laughs> okay. 
Wait, why do you switch set? Yo, how slow is Magmortar? Grimmsnarls. I mean, I think that's good for me. I don't know if Azov's life works, <laughs> to be honest. So you can see item, maybe it's Scar's Nightmare or something. I'm just gonna Sludge Wave does a lot. He could Thunder Wave. That'd be crazy, Chrome. A lot of them, uh, a lot of us are already qualified, though. This is Parting Shot. Now, Parting Shot's better. You can get screens up a little bit easier, like in front of Dawn Fan, Samurai. Iron Moth's wings make me laugh. I wish Iron Moth had Quiver It'd be nasty, though. Ooh, do you paint split? Yeah, they didn't do a lot of damage. Yeah, Scarf Mag would not switch. It's not Scarf at all. It's actually very slow. It, like, it's probably AV. <coughs> um, I don't even know if Energy Ball kills. I don't... I think it does. I'm pretty sure Energy Ball kills. It might kill. I think it kills. I think it's close enough to where we can go for it. If it doesn't, what? You don't die to Hydro Pump anyway. I worst case like you can paint also switch. Maybe it lives on one. Yeah, it did. Yo, wait, but he volt switched. Oh, I think I think that I think Shady was too much into momentum right there. I think pain split was so much better. He doesn't have all his mods have high HP, so that was definitely a little bit of a misplay. Pain split would have been great. I just like unnecessary damage, unfortunately. Damage is big for Lando though. We just find out losing Scarf like right now. Damn, look at his Scarf EQ switchings. Yeah. Uh, Pump would have killed. I, I just like Pain Split a lot. Yo, he actually has no EQ My switchings. Are very limited. <laughs> yeah. This is like one of the good Landers games. I'm down to U turn and find out if it's Scarf. Can I get to go Kelvio? I guess he always has the sack though. I think it's okay. Yeah, it is Scarf. <laughs> Big kill. Very big kill for Sneasler. Scarf Land was amazing in this game. What the hell? If I go Whimsicott, that actually doesn't sound good, does it? Because then I'm going to be stuck with it against the Magma Order. I guess I go Keldeo. How much does Whimsicott take from Scarf EQ? After rocks with offensive, it probably gets 2 KO'd. Not that they're rocks up, but Soif is free. Uh, this Landers is probably going to be a problem. I think my, my Dawn fan's gonna be too pressured. I like how Shady's playing besides the not pain split. Between the landers and the sneezler, I, I think pain splitting and then going out hard. Yeah. I think pain split. Like, if, if I was Shady, I would have pain splitted uh, versus the Iron Moth, and then I would have went probably hard landers just to keep my water answer. So I really do think that that pain split play might bite him. Or the lack of pain split thereof. Excuse me. Grimson comes back. Are you gonna like light screen or something here? Big Keld indeed. If he's max HP. Always. I'm moving switching to the problem. If he's max HP, I can kill him with this. Wait, am I allowed to click a different move? I mean, there's another move click. Yeah, it was... <sighs> He's a max bedef or something. Okay, so there was another move to click, because what was that? <laughs> what was that damage? They didn't do anything. <clears throat> Player is actually hard for them to switch into. parting shot? What's his last? Bro, how'd that do so little? I mean, the screen is up, but god damn. So you're gonna kill there? I don't think so. Does he parting shot here into Golden Goat plus a Suian Samurai, or does he play? I think play off is better if he has it, or Spirit Break rather. Yeah, this this isn't this one's looking bad, guys. I guess this one's looking pretty bad, to be honest. Yeah, he can punish the careful goal with Lando. And whatever comes in here is not going to take any damage. What Azelf maybe? I guess. I guess I have hazards up.
Yeah, this thing's not gonna take anything. Come on! <laughs> Every week, bro, this Caldeo crits something, man. <laughs> I don't man. want this. I don't want this. Come on. Please let me lose. What? Like, at that point, like, just let me lose if you're gonna do that. Like, if you're gonna do that, just let me lose the game already. Bro! Like, I'm, actually body names. I'm pretty sure Azov bodied him, too. <laughs> oh my god. I think it's Terra Fairy. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I, don't, I don't have a good switch into this. That but... sucks, dude. <laughs> Every week. Every week. Poor Shady. I, mean, I, I can try to go into this thing. Why? Who do I not need? Uh, it depends on this Sneasler set. I might need... Kelder literally is a monster this season. He's still fine to go into Clayman, actually. Bro, he's killed everything that could kill, like, get, like damage or kill him. Clefable, Azov, just with crits. It's Surf, too. It's not even Pump. <clears throat> I mean, we don't know this is Scarf. It could be, like, a Soul Blast or something. I don't know. But it's probably Terra Fairy. Good scout. Does his careful nature... I don't think his careful nature to make it rain kills Golden Gold. <laughs> or kills... <sighs> another week, another It's Gator Classic, huh? I mean, this one, at least this one's like not over yet, even with that. So, we still play on. I'm a DM Gator that's, right that's now. That's like the only saving grace, is it's not, it's not Joker. Do I die? Probably, this is a goddamn Magma Order. This thing, this thing is like a truck. I mean, you know it's not specs, but... Three points over right now. I flamed him. I guess I don't die. He might make it rain, I don't know, I'm just actually gonna do his light screen up and everything. I don't know what a dagger looks like. It's this. <laughs> Yo, it's. <laughs> Yo, the careful nature. Um, yeah, so that didn't touch it at all. <laughs> Yo, the careful nature is so funny. The fuck is that? I will say Sneezer looks crazy. Do damage? He's fairy type. Yo, if I'm. Going out into if I'm. I mean, you click Scorching Sands, I guess. That lets the Sneezer back in. I guess you click Scorching Sands here to finish him off. <coughs> yeah, good play. Could potentially burn as well. There's if you no have time, you see Shady's reactions to create even more. So at the end of the match, I, I don't want to see him be sad. <laughs> to be honest, but we'll see. I think even if he's a salt Wins got kills. Damn, Wins got strong. That's an infiltrator. Yeah, it definitely kills. Venvetrator, yeah. <coughs> Actually, he could have been using this a little bit more. Spawn's crazy. Um, I hope. It kills. I want the Terra. Not really, because I want to be resistant to Earthquake. I yeah. prefer to not. Mephesto isn't a, a draft OG, Green. He started draft last year. Infiltrator still goes through screens, right? Yep. <coughs> the hitting uh, on the curve is so good. I'll check it out. With what I have left, I don't like it. Yeah, the sneezer comes out and goes stupid. Um, Especially with Golden Gold gone. Yep, smart. Odds I get blundered to a draft? Not Golden never. Golden until iPhone, probably never. Like, because I have, like, I have my dude sitting here, like my. Dolphin is here, but like, it doesn't actually do too well against the combination of the two Pokemon. <laughs> like, I go into this, it's gonna eat too much damage, right? And then, like, on the U turn, I can't shard. I can't, like, hit the laner, so I, it's, it's, I think it's too much. But even with the crit, I think this stuff is too much. Yeah, and not having CC <laughs> is pretty wild. But I will say, like, just, between this easier. plus poison plus U turn. I guess I can switch into something. What do you even go into on U turn? I don't actually have a good like, switch. Yeah, if Keldeo comes out and gets poison, it probably. On a -turn, it can die to EQ. Damage. Yeah, if, if it gets poison. Set a screen up. Yeah. I might also be in range of close combat. I don't even know. <coughs> in Blender's uh, play drop before. Range of close combat. I can shard for chip. <laughs> you can grab it for chip. Up an earthquake, even though like go for sure. Well, it's not for sure. You turn. Yeah, like now this is an earthquake like, range. This is really good. It's it's tough to go kill the other. I could have maybe went kill the other. <clears throat> mm. 
Hmm. I'd probably just go Landers. I, I, I think Landers, I think Landers would have been a little better. I think he was scared of. He might have been scared of Ice Spinner. Who is the most useless member? Is this Donkey still useful? How much HP is this thing? Has? I guess Dire Claw could still do two well, work I think, too. I think that's in range of close combat. So, you know, unfortunately, that's already in range of close combat. So I don't think Donkey is going to be that useful. You EQ stuff, and then you try and win the game with Sneasler. Also, Windercott is dead weight, right? Well, not entirely. It's it's close to being dead weight. You're scared of knockoff. Interesting. Don't think Keldeo's gonna have to man up and eat some hits or something. I mean, he already manned up and just <laughs> Keldeo's already manned up. And yeah, or Para King. Yeah. Fun. It's gonna have to eat a close combat from the Sneasler. It does so much damage though. Slanderous. <coughs> you know it's Scarf. I don't think I care about damage on this like that. Like Wimsicott's kind of useless, I think. I think. Because I kind of want to just Earthquake. Like not even Ice Shard for Chip, just Earthquake. Just in case, interesting. In case he like U-turns. I think the Sneezer is a bigger problem. Actually, why do I need damage on the Sneezer though? Like it's just going to die if I'm attacking it, I think. Because the Keldeo's one that has to kill it. Like it has to be Keldeo. So in that case, we can just Ice Shard, I think. Big damage. As we know, this is Scarf. I don't have Aqua Jet on this. But you do you know live. It's going to fall over. Well, guy won't die. You go Winsicott first. Most anyway. likely. I mean, Kelio just has to eat. Kelio has to eat it. What does Dire Claw do again? Like, can't he paralyze me or something with that? And sleep. Sleep poison or 50%? Yeah, it's still a thing, oh, Philip. 50%? Is there any reason to switch a root? Yeah, one dark color literally could change it just. I switch a with Scarf? He's locked. Wait. <clears throat> if I switch a with Scarf, he's locked into Earthquake. I sack Samurott. No, I, I don't have enough time to think of that. It won't I think kill. there's a line there, but it, I don't have enough time to think of it. I don't think it, we'll it just leave it up to the Dire Claw. We'll, we'll, that makes it more so that's an interesting line, but I don't think Terra Fairy would kill Sneeze. Actually, if Terra Fairy does plus Vacuum Wave, then that's the line he should do. So you trick at the Scarf, then you turn out into Samurott, because you get the specs, sack that, go Caldeo and Surf, Surf. Maybe. I don't know. Or fun anyway. We'll leave it up to the Dire Claw. <laughs> I feel like there's something there though, no? I switch over the scarf. He's still yeah, that might have been it. I sack Samurott, I go Keldeo. And I'm scarf. <laughs> How low is it? I don't even remember how low this thing is. In the oh, it's, oh, it's, it's full HP. It's full HP. But then I'm ter I, I get to Terra Scarf Moonblast him though. I don't know. Uh, dude, I think there's something cool that we could have done there. Yeah, and then vacuum wave to chip it. And I didn't have enough time to run the numbers. But it, it could have been. This game was fucking boring. Wouldn't that, be, wouldn't that be cool if like, the numbers worked out? Like Terra Scarf Moonblast kills this thing or something? Um. Yeah, so we just moon blast here. Comes down to Dire Claw. There's one. <laughs> There's one. Oh, what if this is Assault Vest? We haven't seen an item on this, right? I didn't even think of that either. Fake out, you turn Dire. Like, what if this is Assault Vest? So should I go Samurai and force him to close? These are really good. I, I think it's like um, a kill leader of the draft. Fake out, you turn. Which I'm very happy about. I don't kill if he's Assault Vest. I don't think. Let me let me check. Yeah, I don't I don't kill if he's a soul test. I, I would need him to be minus one to death. But then what if he's not that and he's something else? What if he's Swords Dance? Ah, that's tough. I mean, fake out U-turn. Dire Claw is the last one. Swords Dance. I mean, it could be. <clears throat> it's Dire Claw in time. It's Dire Claw game in time. Apple cutter. Yeah. I guess it depends. If it's Swords Dance, I guess I lose. Ooh, poison! He, he wanted to not lower his um defenses. Oh, I don't have Aqua Jet. It's gonna come down to Dire Claw. I kind of want to see it sleep. <clears throat> this is gonna come down to if he sleeps or does something. I think to my Kelbio. Ooh, I kind of want to see it. I hope it happens. I hope for the sake of the Pokeverse. Can, can't you happens. just vacuum it twice? Really vacuum wave definitely doesn't kill. It two kills though. Uh, assuming the self-best. Sunday, they I probably would play. Something terrible happened on this turn for me. 
and we can just wrap this season up and people can stop commenting about oh my god he's still undefeated please paralyze me sleep me something or pull out some last move that's gonna mess me up please there we go Ooh! let it be let it be no no poor shady no, a lucky noob again that was a fun game though why why must this go on <sighs> that's funny doesn't even want to win the, the story continues fucking it's gator lucky noob strikes again this game is trash i'm trash you've heard the same thing on repeat 50 million times ggs that was fun Let's, uh, let's watch Shady's reaction to the New game. York Yankees are 4-2 going to Week 7 of the Shuffle Premier League and winning today would secure our spot yeah. in playoffs. We're going up against the only undefeated team, the Florida Gators, coached by Gator himself. As you guys can tell, we don't have a fancy intro this week, and unfortunately, I do not have a team builder for you guys. However, I will leave the Poke paste in the description down below. Truth be told, I'm recording this intro yeah, a lot of the day after I get back from Japan, one. and I'm kind of messed up. But I want to make sure you guys had your Pokemon Draft League content this week, so we're going to go ahead and start the battle. Here we go. We're going up. And I'm kind of messed up. Oh yeah, pain split crit click too. Go is like the switch in. All right, we're gonna get the, the light screen is gonna pop off, and Keldeo does in fact stay in. Uh, we're gonna get to see the damage on Grim Snarl. Two ninety five. Wow, that was that was a lot of damage, dude. I'm like trying to do math, and it's just I'm so tired. Okay, that is specs. It's max damage specs. So play rough here is pretty free. Golden Go might come in. Golden Go does come in, right? For sure. So I think play rough was a good play here. Because even on Golden Go, you still have the screen up. I actually really would have liked that player off. I wish he didn't second guess himself. I don't think he stays in. I'm gonna party shot. Ooh, he does stay in. Interesting. I guess he would have crit him this turn okay. anyway, right? Now let's see this. A minus one Keldeo. Still, it would have still kept his ads off coming in, right? Surf does break the sub, but this is a free mystical power. Oh my god, this set goes stupid here. Get it. Right. Get it and even have sucker. And I outspeed. I really didn't. Ex I did not expect him to stay in there. I'll be. I want to see his brick brick on this thing. But then he's not specs. He's specs. He's specs. He's specs. Okay, there's a surf. That's the game. That is Pokemon right there. Otherwise, I might have swept. Oh man, that really hurts. Not the music. Yeah, that's awful. That's awful. Uh, that's the game. I'm gonna go ahead and just chalk it. Oh, I gotta see about the. I gotta see about the para. Not Ranga. All right. Storyline of any sneeze that's ever lived, I would be forever in your debt. For the other series, Ronald mentioned that one player asked for a solo suspect immediately thought it was you. <laughs> Prime, thank you for the five. That was not me. That's hilarious, though. Forever in your debt. Please. Please, I will, I will scream. Thank you for the five. I got, I, got, I, got, I got family upstairs. I will scream. All right, come on. This is the moment. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Paralysis. Wait, oh, the enemy's not sleep. Full power, full power, full power. Oh, we tried so hard and got so far. But in the end, GG Gator, your New York Mankeys are four and three. We have one more week left to go ahead and clutch up, secure a playoff spot, and remain positive. I'll see you then. Keep it shady. Damn. Damn. All right, let's talk about a few things. Let's talk about the playoff picture. And also, thank you, everybody, for all the support on this. The fact that we sold out of the bundles and stuff is really cool. I appreciate you. We have about... I would say 20% of the Moomoo Milk left. If you want to pick that up, you can. Um, I might be trying to do a bundle with the Draco Shaker plus Moomoo Milk. That way, people can still get the Pokemon card. <clears throat> Poke Aim card. Uh, so, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Uh, just because we do have more Poke Aim cards available, but we're only giving that with the bundle. So, I'll see if I can make a bundle with this. It'll be cheaper than buying Moomoo Milk plus, uh, plus Draco Shaker uh, separate. It'll be like a couple bucks cheaper. And obviously, but I appreciate it. Exclamation mark flavor if you want to check it out. Terra bubble tea, caffeinated, 18 plus, et cetera, et cetera. So, talk about the playoff picture. So, this is the standings after the. But Synergy is the best for me. It looks tasty though. Hey, I don't know. Don't worry about it, Jim. Don't even worry about it, fam. You know, show that game with Dugan went crazy. No, I don't usually watch my opponents on stream. Um, I would if I didn't have to wake up super early. But. So these are playoff scenarios. What's in the cart? I I always I, I'm pretty sure I always put <laughs> my stuff in the cart just to see if the codes work. But Gator, if he wins week eight, guarantees first seed. A loss could bring him to second seed. Uh, if Uzi beats me, remember top three seeds get to click, click their uh, playoff opponents. Uzi, he wins and is guaranteed at least second seed. Potential first seed if Gator loses with differential. Yep, Uzi could overtake Gator if Uzi beats me high enough and Gator loses. 
uh, to Chimpac uh, very much. Much love, Jim. Loss of high and high of third seed, potentially fourth seed, depending if Leo wins with differential. I win and I get second seed. So I'm like one differential different than Uzi. So if I beat Uzi, I get second seed in the season. Lose in worst possible position would be six seed. So us three so far, guaranteed playoffs. And Leo, a win puts him between seeds two and four, depending on Uzi and aim results. Loss will put you at five to seven. All teams above are guaranteed locked for playoffs. Teams below are not locked. So Gator, Uzi, Joey, and Leo will all be in playoffs. This is the week eight we're doing right now, but we're all in playoffs guaranteed. Shout out to the people who doubted. Shady, he wins and he's in. Can go as high as third seed, which would be crazy, him picking his opponent. Awesome to see that if he wins and he's in a playoff still, like, you know, first draft league back. Loss and depending on differential could miss playoffs if Envy, Chimpak, and Nexus win, though it would be unlikely to miss playoffs even with a loss. Yeah, so even if he loses, as long as it's not like a literal 6-0, uh, Shady can still make playoffs. Uh, he does play play more final week, but also a lot of things has to happen. MV is winning in, can go as high as third seed. If you three peat with Squawk, you draft go. <laughs> Loss and depending on differential could miss playoffs if Chimpak wins, play more wins, but Shady still has higher differential. And next is Shuckle King winning with a high differential. Uh, MV is for the most part good shot at making playoffs as well. Obviously, a lot can happen here. A lot needs to happen here, but. All these games matter, right? Nexus, uh, Shuckle are playing each other for playoff spots as well. Chipback winning in can go as high as uh, seed five. Loss and could miss playoffs if two of the three happen. Play more wins. Nexus, Shuckle King winning with higher differential. Drewby winning with higher differential. It's crazy that Drew went from one and four to three and four. And now he's fighting for playoffs as well. Wild, wild season. Drew is probably one of my favorite players to watch just because he's done this before in the PPL. And now he's doing it in SPL. Like, it's so sick to see. <laughs> Thank you, game. Uh, play more winning in. If Nexus 6 0s and play more wins 1 0, play more has tiebreaker, loss, and out. Period. Play more needs to win this week. Otherwise, they are out. Nexus, he must win. And one of the following things to occur for playoffs play more has to lose. Shady, Envy, or Chimpak losing with enough differential. If Nexus wins 1 0 or Drew wins 6 0, then two of the previous four scenarios must occur. Uh, no. Unfortunately, Hayden's not in playoffs. Shuckle King has to win, and one of the following things has to occur. Playmore has to lose versus Shady, or Envy or Chipback losing with enough differential. If Drew wins and overtakes Shuckle King differential, then two of the previous three scenarios must occur. And then Drew must win, and two of the three things to occur. Chipback loses with enough differential to Gator. Playmore loses to Shady. Overtake the winner of Nexus Shuckle King with enough differential. So it's like so freaking close. It's so... Literally, seven players are in contention right now for playoffs. It's seven players are fighting for top eight. Unfortunately, Seabad, Kyle, and Hayden are not in the playoff contention. But this is why eight weeks is so good for draft. First off, less burnout. But secondly, it makes every game matter. Drew was literally one and four. He was one and four going into week five. And now he's three and four fighting for a playoff spot. Like, it's insane. This is why I absolutely love 8 week draft. I love that every... It, it means that you have to still care for the most part, which I like about it. Literally, potato. So it's so good. So that's basically... A, it's way more manageable, way more fun, and you get these high suspense moments where every game matters because not only do you have to win games, but you have to hope either people win or lose by enough differential. So there's so much going on. Big shout out to Shuckle King, obviously, for putting this together. He's great with the maths. Um... The last week is make or break for getting to playoffs. Those eight weeks have been tense. Literally. Literally, Chandler. Literally. My game versus Uzi. We got the finals rematch of SPL Season 1. Uh, Shady Playmore. Two old heads getting at it. Like, going at it right there. Uh, Envy, I believe, plays... Who does Envy play in this week? It's... It's not Kyle. I think it's, it's who does Envy play? Gator plays Chimpak. Wow, why don't I remember who Envy plays? Leo, Leo. He plays Leo, which is a potential, uh, which is basically a playoff uh, contending team. Obviously, Leo's guaranteed. So, and Chimpak plays Gator. Uh, Chimpak either needs to beat the undefeated team or lose by a little, literally a little. By the way, I'm rooting for Nexus Shady, so I'm double rooting. No, I, I'm definitely rooting for Shady to win the entire league. Actually. Low key, might like, yeah, even if he loses, it has to be a really close loss for them.
because Nexus Shuckle King actually matters the most. Both of them are pretty trash differential. They're both in the negatives. So this game really matters the most. It actually determines a lot about everybody. Literally, this game, these two playing each other determines a lot about everything else. Because not only does one have to win, but they have to win with enough differential. They have to try and like 4-0, basically, type of thing. Anyway, we're going to call the stream with that. I appreciate everybody coming through. It was a great one. Guys, if you want to check out my flavor, I'd appreciate it. Use code AIM. You save 10%. Uh, if you want to pick up my Draco Shaker as well, this is caffeinated 18 plus. This is just a Draco Shaker, but you save an extra 10% off after saving this five. I'll see you guys tomorrow with a video. Probably going to do the uh, tier changes video tomorrow because I've waited long enough.